Hello and welcome back to Dial H for Hero Clicks. I'm your Sexy Ranch Hand co-host, Caller Ness. This episode, we're going to be doing a big post-Worlds breakdown recap with all the boys over here at Dial H. This is episode 484. Howdy, howdy. Let's get rowdy. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional Hero Clicks. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like 100 instant deadpan humor. Over oh, okay, six uh, people think I am the funny. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. You absolute fool. I'm gonna be able to edit that out. That's cool because it's expensive. I'm gonna make hero clips like that forever. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Dial H for Hero Clips is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock every day, including all the latest Hero Clips singles and seal products. Make sure you check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. And if you want to go ahead and buy HeroClick straight from the source, you can go to shop.wizkids.com and use code DIALH10 for 10% off your HeroClick's order. Not usable with Iconics or pre-orders or select figures. Just kind of see what it works with, I guess. Joining me, like always, in the studio is Simeon Bruce. What's going on, Simeon? Not much, Calder. How's it going? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Very. I like the visual gag on our audio format. Yes. Um, the listener at home will love Put that down, Simeon. You don't know what that does. Do you oh, know? Are you just mad because you don't have one? No. Yeah, you know you're big. Mad. I have a bat over here, bro. <laughs> big mad. Uh, so you know, Simeon is in the. Uh, oh, yeah, that's. Oh, Ian thanks. Here. Now, now only Calder doesn't have a mic to talk into. <laughs> yeah, pick up a stand. How's yeah, that I feel? Have a mic stand. I feel. I feel all right. Uh, and we also have Ian Eggleston, behind the scenes extraordinaire, video editor man himself. Ugh, yeah, I'm here. The ambassador. Um, some would uh, say. <laughs> some would. Many would say, and if you don't, oh, it's, okay. Uh, okay. it's fineable, I believe. I believe that's What's like the a, fine? Uh, you go to jail forever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the opposite of a fine. No, Dang, no. that sounds like a sentence. Well, in, in Hambassery, you just don't understand. It's a I've never been very very to the, process. the country of Hams yeah, to country. be the ambassador. We're not going to get into it. Yeah, no, let's guys, not. Um, Hams County is something gonna... else. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is a uh, this is a big another probably long episode. So I hope you enjoyed our short episode break that was last week. It won't be a six hour long one. I'm I'm sure. I hope um, not. <laughs> but we're us three. We're just gonna detail the events that unfolded. You guys got to see a ton a ton of coverage from Worlds, and thank you guys so much for tuning into it. And then all the kind words you guys have said over this past week about our Worlds coverage. It seriously means. Seriously means so much that you guys enjoyed it and that you liked what we were doing. So this podcast is going to be all about our point of view, um, a, a handful of behind the scenes things that we can talk about, and yeah, just kind of detailing the days as they rolled out because you guys just saw the the flawless, perfect product uh, yeah. each day. It's, with... it's not always a highlight reel at Dial it's... H. Sometimes <laughs> it's uh, sometimes it's a little rough. But so for the most part, we we start good. we start off our world's trip. Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Yeah. Luke had to work uh, six a.m. to two. He was our driver. Chose to. And so initially, I'm just like, all right, well, we'll just go halfway. You know, we'll just we'll go halfway. We'll stop in Springfield. We'll finish up the drive tomorrow. About what three hours in, we're like, nah, nah, let's just go. <laughs> let's rip to Memphis. <laughs> to be fair, that was mostly on Luke. Like Luke was just like. I don't want to drive through morning rush hour traffic right. to get to Memphis. Let's just, like, if he just hadn't been on there. board, I, like, none of us would have forced him, but no. I was, uh, I was fine with it. Honestly, the drive there was, it wasn't bad. Somehow it really, like, Up until I don't know. The, like, the, um, gosh, what's that game? The Silent Hill fog scene that, like, we entered. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh, yeah. yeah. That was weird. The last, like, three hours where it was just, like, <laughs> you'd see a glowing like, thing uh, out in the distance, and you're like, oh, that was a city, okay. The Call of Duty zombies, like, the round switch. You yeah. see the, you hear the music, oh, 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 the smoke's coming in. Dude, it was, it was wild. <clears throat> and it was also, like, midnight at that point. So yeah, it's just it was getting pitch late. black. Yeah. The spooky time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But really no, the drive... The drive was pretty. The drive was pretty good. That that morning started off with just getting packed. Slash that late last night was like a lot of getting packed. Yeah. Like Two a.m. of uh, just getting things done, and then uh, I had to go make a a quick run. This is like a, a minor what made me happy thing, but like as I went to the to Goodwill to get some Christmas themed shirts, to of see course, if they had of course, any, uh, as you do in September. Um, one of the, I was wearing my groovy, my Evil Dead shirt, and like one of the. Uh, 
uh, clerks to the counter, she was like, I'll shout her out. Uh, shout out to Ashley uh, from the Goodwill. And not, Thank it's you, not even, It's not even a Goodwill, so she's not fully doxxed, don't worry. But she was like, yo, is that Evil Dead? I know exactly what that is. <laughs> she didn't sound like that. But she was like, that's so cool. And so, yeah, we talked for a little bit as I got in, and then as I was, like, checking out, then we just, like, chatted it, like, just talking about horror movies and Evil Dead and stuff. And it was just so tight. It was so cool. Um, I also bought a Lego set from Goodwill. It was $5. And it nice. said, uh, buy at own risk. Like, this is, like, on. Buy at own risk, not mm-hmm. complete. Pro- not checked. Sorry, I didn't say not complete. It said not checked. Uh, and it was, it is true. It was not complete. But it had the final third bag of the set. Not bag one, not bag two, but had all the minifigures. So that's a good. Oh, not, I yeah, mean, that's the best part. Yeah, exactly. That's definitely so, worth five bucks. Yeah, we got the uh, the Obi Wan Kenobi, the Qui Gon Jinn, and the Darth Maul set with just all the figures. So it was, it was pretty. It's pretty. I awesome. had the Darth Maul one growing up. Yeah, we started not off. Not the, the big one, but the. Oh uh, yeah. The, I think he came with like a little Roll racer sc- scooter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, one yeah. was sick. So that was a good, just a great start to the day. And then we had for the majority of snacks on the I road. I thought. Uh, what did we have? We had cheese related items. We had cheese bits <laughs> or we had goldfish, goldfish. crackers. Mm. <laughs> Were the two choices of snacks that Luke packed? I thought the thing you were gonna bring up there, oh. like uh, about the like goodwill thing. I thought you were gonna bring up how we like bug bombed our house. <laughs> oh, that too. Yeah, like as we leave, I'm like, do we have everything? Are yeah, you sure, we have everything. And then I just rip, rip. We open have so many windows in here. It's bug just containers to just. Uh, and then I locked it, and I was like, "All right, yeah, that's that's final." After you know, that one night where a couple just, crickets got in, and they were like hanging oh, out behind I the shelf. I don't want to leave that in. It's so it's so gross. It's so. Well, it's just a couple. Cr- they got in through. Like, I mean, we're <clears> in an I old up, house. I woke up like two days in a row. Yeah, so loud cricket noises. I'd be in up my at room, night, and I was like, "You're kidding!" Walk out in the main room, I'd hear them. <laughs> Walk over, they'd stop. It's like I'm gonna find you. <laughs> I'm gonna find you. But they're, yeah, they're that was big crickets, dude. That was something that made me happy because it's like, I mean, I old house, lots of windows. Oh, you dude, can't so keep them many out. Windows, no. man. Almost every window in the basement no. has like a crack in it too. Yeah, so it's like it's... we don't live. A, we have a fine house, guys. <laughs> but... it's, it's, no, it's. I mean, I think. A lot of people bug bomb. I think that's probably... Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a fairly common... It's not practice. like we were, like, infested. Yeah, just, there's a reason Raid yeah. makes the product. Yeah. People bug bomb their homes. Yeah, I do, a, just, uh, I do like, you know. a perimeter thing there you go. along the outside. And then one year I had to do one on, like, the inside. But I haven't mm-hmm. had... I haven't had interior bug problems outside the occasional, like, moth or something that flies in. Oh, in quite a while because of that. But... Um, the powder that I put down inside, like, I do have to be careful because it's toxic to the everything. Like, oh, not a great yeah. thing to be putting around yeah, when like, animals <laughs> like, might lick it. Yeah, my cat's like extra wheezy. Was this like, candy? <laughs> basically, just a line of like powder that like she's just sniffing. You can tell me that Milo's <laughs> inner dialogue is just constantly, is this candy? Is this candy? Is this yeah. candy? And I would, I would believe you. You but would it's, probably. Uh, it's What's, good. It's good to do. We don't have to yeah, harp on it anymore. Three Our house is fine. Our we house? just had a few, a few crickets, and after that, we were like, we're drawing the line. No more crickets. No yeah. more crickets. Maybe rickety cricket, but no more crickets. <laughs> I would be honored if rickety cricket lived on a basement. It'd be so awesome. I think uh, the funniest part of the drive-in. So we get to Graceland at like two a.m. Obviously, yes. we stopped at Steak and Shake. Obviously, we have to. Because duh, that yeah. happens every road trip. Has to. Um, we get there. And, like, the doors to the front of the hotel are locked. Right. Also, we're pulling into, like, the driveway part of it, and the person at the toll booth is just, like, asleep. Yeah. It was pretty funny. So, Simeon, you had to get out of the the car, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was like, maybe she just didn't notice us. And so I walked to the other side, and, like, I see, like, eyes closed, just, like, head slumped. And I was like, (laughs) tap, tap. She, like, jumps up, like, didn't even realize where I was, didn't, like, see me. Just like turned around and immediately I got out the door to like talk to you guys in the car. Mm. So then I walk around behind her like, ah, gotcha. No. Oh jeez, I didn't actually. Do that, <laughs> she instantly like gets. And then we took over Graceland. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. That's exactly. Uh, and we then, get to yeah. the front doors though, and, and then Calder no one, and I are standing uh, there. No one's at the front desk. The doors don't. She's open. like in the back eating lunch, <laughs> and I was like, well. This doesn't look trashy, and I just <laughs> knock on the, these glass yeah. doors, and then we get let in, and everything's fine. And we explain you know. the situation, and we're fine. It's all good. But yeah, like, oh my gosh, that was so funny, just standing there and being like, well, we don't have any other choice, because we tried calling them, I think, too, and it took us to some, like, uh, like not the front desk, yeah, but some, like, me- mediary. Yeah. So yeah, we get in. Uh, we get some nice rest, though, because events didn't start, because it was Wednesday tomorrow. Well, yeah, nothing started yeah. until 7. So, 
Yeah, we, we didn't, didn't have anything to do till seven. Seven, it was pretty cool. So yeah, it was just a lot of like getting set up, seeing everybody, seeing Brian Galley, Gorilla Press, a table. Oh yeah, that was oh, the yeah. first <laughs> thing we saw when we walked in was just him like lift a just table above his head and just yeah walk away with it. Um, no, it put they put in a ton of work just yeah. getting like that. Those tables, if you've been to Worlds, those tables and chairs aren't part of, like, the event center. No. They have to get them, like, picked up, brought there. Uh, obviously, the, all their own products have to be, like, manually shipped. I think Scott was in charge of driving everything himself there. But they have that big cargo van parked out back, yeah, and they were just yeah. pulling product from that. And if you guys saw the amount of Notorious that was ripped through, like, that so all had much. to come there. Yeah. Along with all the Con exclusives, which, if you saw the back wall, they were... I don't did. know, stacked seven, eight high in I some think cases. Well, not in Notorious. I was right? going to say, yeah. Did, yeah. Did, yeah. At one point, Last he, day he left ours. and he put in like an emergency order at one of like their warehouses, went and got more Notorious. Or, I think it was Notorious that he picked up. Well, we asked him, it's like, are you guys going to run out? Because even during like Team Worlds, the BR hall was still like 80% full. Absolutely packed. Yeah. And he goes, he's like, if we do, I can get more. Yeah. So I don't know if they had to call in more. If they Thursday had to, like, hella was, carrier. In. Thursday was pulp, and that was the most packed I've ever seen a BR hall on a Thursday. Dude. It was insane. So like, gnarly. Every table. Three and a half had rows. Of, actually, that. four and a half rows of BR tables just firing off every hour. And, uh, it would, I mean, it was just crazy. So getting there, another thing that was really cool on, like, the, the day zero day is they were putting all the figures into those, uh, like, the WizKids cases. Yep. And we got to hold a few of those. Like, I got to pick up the uh, the Rare Moon Knight. There were no dials in them, which, you know, kind of yeah. a bummer, but that's okay. The weight of these double bases. Uh, I know a few of you guys got to hold them uh, either at Fan Appreciation or at Nationals. But just a Rare Moon Knight with the cape flowing, you know, he's on the horse. Like It was cool. That's a Rare I want to display. And that's a rare that seriously, like you just pick it up and like the the quality difference there, it, it's just insane. I think for a rare, like oh yeah. my gosh, for anyone that's uh, upset that this is going to be a four figure booster set instead of a five, I think once you see the quality that they're packing into these new like Twinkie bases, I think you will instantly be glad that you're missing like a common or uncommon in each booster. Yeah, um, these boosters are specifically designed so that those Twinkie base figures can be as big as necessary without receiving damage. And the amount of stuff that they were able to do with the sculpts that we saw, like, holy cow. It's, yeah. it's awesome. The slotted packaging for the double base it's funny. is, uh, it's really solid. Um, I would have no worries about anything breaking and shipment from that. Yeah. So I really like the approach they took on top of that. The other figures, like what we got to see, there was like a rare black heart and yeah. the smoke Ooh. effect on him. It's Ooh. like, how is this not like a super rare or a chase? Yep. Obviously, Dracula was sick. We can yeah. all agree on yeah, that. Dracula's yeah, Dracula's pretty baller. Little, <laughs> little, his little. armor's so shiny, too. Man. Yeah, it's got the, two minion the that blood he has. armor. Dude, yeah, the vampire being yeah. just like this... He kind of looks, looks like a looks basketball like no player. Too. He's tall. Yeah, he is tall. <laughs> He's taller than Dracula, because Dracula's kind of hitting like a crouchy pose. But uh, no The man too. thing was really cool, too. Oh, yeah. So sick. Yeah, Obviously, Blade, Blade doing slide. the lean. Yeah, dude. I mean, come on. About to slice somebody. I love the Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman is so baller, dude. Holding yeah, his head. Yeah, the like flame, flame effect. Flame on his head. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I agree with you 100%, Simeon. For anyone who's like, oh, I miss out on maybe a common or an uncommon, it's worth it. Yeah. It is 100% I mean, worth it. It's the it. same conversation we had with Batman Team Up where it's like, you don't understand just how much more value is added to the booster with a ring or a construct. Hopefully, a people have figure. now. Now that I hope so. like construct goes for like about ten bucks, depending on yeah. what it is. The indigo ones are booming right now yeah. with Scott Porter existing. I'm glad I picked up a set. I got I a full set and a ring for thirty fair. bucks. Like I think five months Sinestro ago, Sinestro Coral probably pop off with Scott. Those, too, it already has the accordion. It's like sold out everywhere. Yeah. I don't know what people are going to be asking for it, but yeah, accordion with a ring, that's for sure going to be a meta staple. That's not our conversation, though. But uh, yeah, I mean, big surprise moving eight squares and dropping a construct is good. <laughs> Were yeah. there any other sculpts that caught your guys' eye that you can think uh, of? Well, we did get to see the first in person. Um, the Merry Christmas set, uh, the yeah, oh, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. thing. So, I liked Groot. 
I liked him wrapped in holiday lights, the Drax. So I was curious how well like the sweater prints were gonna look on all those guys. They look good. They look good. Yeah, you can make out the sweater pretty well. Who was the? Type. Oh wait, no, never mind. The I was thinking of Groot. Yeah, we saw <laughs> Nebula, Groot, and Drax. The yeah, sculpts for those. I really, I really like Drax's like cat with laser eyes sweater. Is hilarious. So, so yeah, the the cases this year were. I think much more impressive than last year. Yeah. I really enjoyed them. I think a lot of other and people did. they were all in the new WizKids uh, Hero Clips box, display yeah. box thing. Yeah. Which. So that's pretty sweet. We got to see the, we saw the booster like in the trash. I went and like picked it up. <laughs> it's a, it's a pretty thick booster that they come in. You know, they're pretty large size. You get three in the pack. Uh, I'd say like, what do we agree on? Like one and a half times the size of a booster? Yeah, it's like one and a half. <laughs> It's a card though, has a nice little like display peg in there. We didn't really get to mess around with those too much, but uh, yeah, really, I mean, I plan on picking up at least like 10 of those. Yeah, gotta, yeah. gotta get the Batman stunting. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's fair. I think they, yeah, they are gonna be like having other ones in the future, like hopefully, you know, ones that fit. I really hope one they by two do, uh, and two by two. Yeah, I hope they do make that one that was the comic book. Right. That one they, had like the three stack on the side and you put a comic book they into They previewed that last year. They previewed that last year and those were all like not final concept previews as we can see from these ones. That these ones look pretty different from the singles that they showed off last year. Definitely. So it definitely makes sense seeing like how they've improved on the design from their first like initial draft. But I study something I really still want to see is like the one that you can put a comic book into. Like a, a team that's from a cover of a comic, or like yeah. sculpts that are taken from well, the comic. They also cover. where those double bases were in. They had this was not. We were told it was not like not an official a Whiskey Whiskey product, yeah. but the right. the big case that had the four double bases in it with the two pegs holding the, the back two up platforms. Yeah, they were like, yeah, you know, if uh, if people are interested in these, like maybe it's like, oh, really? Okay, cool. Yeah. So that's a possibility like a, as well. Yeah, a team box type of deal yeah. would be really sick. So Oh, very quickly, because we didn't do what made us happy, I just want to do a quick shout-out to Alex Morse in our Discord okay. for selling me a Black Lantern Hi. Batman before the set released. I now have my deceased Batman, which we'll get into later, and a Black Lantern Batman, so I'm basically done with Notorious. <laughs> there you go. But thank you, Alex. I really appreciate it, man. He shipped it out today, too, so quick shipping as well. Uh, you can go, if you ever do a deal, make sure to leave feedback on the HeroClix trade feedback page. Private deal. Did he sell it? Even if you do a private deal, leave feedback. <laughs> Did he sell it, sell it to you uh, himself? Or, oh, yeah. He, he pulled, pulled the God, God pack. pack. Yeah. That's right. So he, uh, I said, hey, I'm interested in the Batman. He goes, I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Five minutes later, he's like, I'll sell you the Batman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely sell at this point. Uh, we're still in pre-release season. Maybe, maybe hold Superman. Because I think Black Superman Lantern. is going to be... I don't know. I haven't seen many Black Lantern teams, but Superman's healing, like, he's just insane. He does have he one, of the, the most yeah, like one of the easily. larger top lines that he I could see to. him being like uh, Ghost Goblin, where he opens, you know, he's like 110, 120. I think Superman right now is like 150 or so. And then after, like, you know, two weeks of the set being out, you can't find him. People are asking 250. I could see him being in a boat like that. I so just like Disney Plus, that was the last God Pack set that we saw. Yes. Um, the figures that should have been affected the most, like with that pricing, uh, that should have like maybe taken a hit because God Packs were, I wouldn't say like common, but just because they made those chases more common. Yeah. Sakari and Iron Man didn't really take a hit from that. Like no. he still held a ton of value. And the rest of them dial dial wise. I mean, honestly, we're not the most impressive in the meta sense, which has a large impact on price, so right. it's kind of hard to gauge there. I mean, Ultron, come on. He could have yeah. been. But could have uh, been. A full Black Lantern, almost a full Black Lantern set being in your bricks would and mean... And a deceased Hawkman. And a deceased Hawkman. It should mean that, like, those figures will dip in value, but... I think Black Lanterns have a much better chance of being a competitive team than... Competitive... Popular characters, sweet variant that we don't get very often, and, like, I mean, seriously, like, very, very relevant competitively. It's a perfect storm to be big dollars. Yeah. So, uh, I think Batman has a good chance of being more expensive down the line. He's probably the hardest to read here, because I do think he's amazing. But Superman is my, my peg to be, like, the Black Lantern to get, because yeah. I feel like most teams will function with him. Anyways, uh, yeah. to finish off Wednesday night, <laughs> or I should say to, to start off Wednesday day, zero, day yeah. Wednesday day here, 
uh, we did the very first ever world's like welcome events. It was really cool. Something we were in talks to do for a while. So I'm glad we we're able to finally do it. We did a couple of rounds of Bad Sam. We have a Bad Samaritan world champion, which is Lucas Landis of Heroes Headquarters fame. Not then, Jackson. Not Jackson. Yeah, not Jackson. He got his chain snatched, Expressly, as they say. <laughs> as they as they say, uh, it was pretty fun. So for those that enjoy playing Bad Sam in our Discord server, or those that enjoy playing it there, uh, it was a grand time. We saw we read a lot of goop comments as we usually do in Discord. So that was really. It's fun. amazing how much that came up. It's it's really funny that not <laughs> only was it like this is kind of an inside joke. I wonder if it'll happen, and it instantaneously happened yeah. like, <laughs> at the in person Bad Sam. So that was really fun. The best part of that too was there was like a. T- Table with like I think it was like Jay, Emily, Jeremiah, uh, Devin, maybe a few others yeah. there. Sorry if I forgot your name. Uh, when you said, and we have Goop, and you just hear, oh, yeah, the <laughs> like they knew. Yeah. yeah. Anyone that's been hanging around on HC Realms long enough, like recognizes some of like the yeah. the consistent people that post the and usual interact. suspects, if you will. Right. You know who you are. Yeah. You know who you are. Ambassadors coming. Tidge. Slate Wilson. <laughs> Goop. Yeah. Batman 89 <laughs> or whatever. You know who you are. Hester. Ugh. Ugh. Hester. Oh, right. Ugh. Oh, right. Ugh. Anyway, sorry. Enough Enough name dropping here. I apologize. Found out who Jibo is, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, like, on a positive out, note. Hangs out in the same uh, venue as, like, Dexter and Cam. So, yeah, that was pretty yeah. cool. And they were like, yeah, we tell who Jibo, like, you guys really enjoy it. I'm like, yeah, we, we really do enjoy his, like, top ten figures of the year. It's like a yeah. highlight every year. I like... I love that thread. It's like the best thread on HC Realms. Almost all, almost every single year. So we started off with some Bad Sam, which went really well. It was really fun. And then we ended it with some Jeopardy boards. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy the Jeopardy boards. <laughs> yeah. Matt Reed crushed it when he finally well, stepped I, up to it. I didn't yeah. know we had that new player board. Oh, yeah. So I had three players who had... You know, they like, yeah, we've been playing a year. I was like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm asking them questions like, what, what, uh, you know, equipment did Batman have in his hyper time sculpt? And they're like, that was 20 years ago. I'm like, right. too bad. I was standing next to Scott for that one. We were just like, Crypto Glove. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, it was, obviously. It was so funny. But, uh, you know, other people who were like in the, the audience had fun because I'd just be like, all right, guys, I'm sure somebody knows it. One, two, three. And then they'd they say would yell it. it out, yeah. And uh, I made it up to them later. They came into the, the convention center and yeah. we had some legacy cards to give out. I'm like, sorry for the, the painful jeopardy. So I gave them all a legacy card. We were able to give, I think mean, we almost got rid of all of the rogues. WizKids gave us the. We got rid WKO, of all of them. We did get rid of all of them. Yeah. The WKO prize rogue with the hammer uh, to give away just for, uh, for showing up to the event. Yeah. And then we had a lot of cool, like, prizes for, like, the winners and stuff that we also got to give away, which is, like, a ton of fun. So, like, again, a free event. Get something for showing up. We'll figure out. If we get that opportunity to do it again next year, we'll definitely have something where uh, we can get more people involved, I'm sure. We had a much bigger crowd than anticipated, which was awesome. Yeah. It felt like 60 80, to 80 people. 80 people. It was a lot. It was, so, yeah. I definitely want to try to do something where we can, thought. like... I don't know, use more of the crowd together versus you like know. three or so people at a time. But you we know, didn't have we, the, we had some learning. We, we didn't have the most do. time to like put it together. No. That's kind of on us just because we had, I mean, our personal lives were very busy well, uh, in the weeks prior. That's one of the best happens. things about Jeopardy though is it's a great spectator sport. People love doing yeah. like Jeopardy and just like, you know, yeah. knowing what it is in like the back of their mind or whatever and Luckily, most right. of the crowd knew that the rules of Jeopardy, you don't shout out the answer. Yeah. Most of the crowd knew that, so that a was couple, A couple people. <laughs> no names. No names. The only names I'll mention, Josh, Cody, Diego, I'm so sorry for not giving you <laughs> the beginner board. Please accept my apology. Hopefully you already did. Uh, and hopefully you guys still had fun. They walked away with some prizing. We had some, like, Phoenix Thanes, which are such a good sculpt. Oh, yeah. Some cool of sculpt. the Supermans, Atana, Constantines, uh, Gwenpool, uh, Bombshell Raven. Some, uh, you know, previous cons that, you know, still sculpt-wise hold, I think, a lot if you didn't pick one up. Yeah. A lot of uh, really good sculpts there. And they're, like, fairly hard to get now because, like, where else are you going to get them? Other yeah. Than, I guess secondary it's, it's market. Big, if you like, want. yeah, Worlds and Nats is, like, It's not Brainiac those. Lex, you know. No. It's not. So it's your, they're easier to obtain. Yeah. Brainiac not, Lex is not that uh, debatably the the rarest figure in here. One of the hardest now. figure in here. I don't know where you could have gotten one, let alone sixty of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
I only, um, I only own one, so that's true. I know, I only have one, so it was hard to get that one. I don't even have one. See? Do you not? No, I oh didn't I didn't keep one. I wanted gracious. them to go to the good people. I can't believe that. I thought it was right. funnier that way. It is. I guess so. Uh, moving on, just like, we had to have a really cool casual Wednesday night, and thank you guys so much. And, okay, before we, we totally move on, well, the reason I wanted to get all these Christmas shirts is because we knew ahead of time that we got to show off the holiday figures yes. for the Guardians of the Galaxy advent calendar that they're making this year. The Iconics is coming out later this year, I hope, in time to count down to Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate in December. So it was pretty cool. So I wanted to make sure I was wearing that the whole time. I was like, oh, Calder, why do you look like that? You got why some comments you? in the elevator. Yeah. I like your like, shirt. Yeah, I like your shirt. And somebody said, it's September, and you went, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it was pretty good if I like the stocking cap and my, my Grinch stole Christmas shirt, which I, I left in Memphis. I did not pack it. Back <laughs> what? Yeah. Just, just oh, dude. It. Another, the coolest part of Wednesday, easily too, can't believe we brushed over this. Uh, Luke from Canada, the guy who did some serious, we'll get into it later, guys. Just yeah. incredible photo and video work throughout the whole week. Uh, he's been a longtime supporter of Dial H. Dial really H cool dude. Yeah. yeah, Hall of Famer here. And uh, somebody I've, I've spent so many late nights talking to on Discord, he's given me so many tips and, you know, made me better. Uh, he got in around like 5 o'clock and I got to meet him for the first time. We all did. I don't know why I said I there. And it was, it was crazy how, like, quickly everything just clicked. It's like, I feel like I just know this guy, you know. Yeah. He was just one of the guys. It was so much fun getting to meet him. I hope in the future for other events he gets to come down. I know we're already talking about Worlds next year, but... He absolutely killed it the whole weekend. We will talk about that plenty. 100%. But, yeah. yeah, having him be part of the crew for the weekend was, uh, I mean, it was just awesome. He was he was great. So I, It was incredible. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. He's just a really cool big, guy. Big shout out to Luke, Luke, Luke. He pulled not only his weight, but everybody else's weight. It felt yeah, like he, it was He dragged out. us across the finish line yeah. a couple of times. But yeah. I like to think we were still trying to roll. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> he, he was incredible. So... We'll go starting off Thursday, late start to the day Thursday. It's the event started about two p.m. is when you get in the doors. Two thirty BRs, and then three o'clock was pulp. We were able to take an early look at the Royal Flush Gang OP. We had a look yes. at Jack King Queen wow. and Ten, which is really cool. Check out some of the dials there. Yeah, we had to check out the map. I really do enjoy these two maps that you have: the Ace Chemical Plants, and then like just and the that outside was a, street. That was just like a. They happen to get the proof of concept or whatever that like Brian called Basically, it. Basically, yeah, these are like first prints or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So they just happened to like get that right before they came, and they were like, "Well, what if we just like throw these into random BRs?" And so they did. They did a like what one every day. Yeah, they did one special Royal Flush Gang OP BR a day. And then the, I think they ran when they ran out of Notorious. There was like two BRs left. They ran yeah. a couple on uh, Sunday as well. There you go. The bystanders so, are nuts. The Royal yeah. Flush Gang is very similar. Not so, It's not going to be like Exosaurus where it has its own set, but it's very similar to the Fantastic Four OP kit where it has a bunch of LEs. Um, it has a handful of each one legacy card. I think it's just Ace is the yeah, legacy Ace card. Ace is the legacy and card. And then has a bunch of bystanders. And then there's a, really cool. a 10 team-up, I think. There is a team-up card. Yeah. 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 So I enjoy it. And they're we're not all gonna, solid. We're not going to get into like any of the dials or anything. They're all very fun figures. Um, the coolest thing is that they have a spade, a heart, a club, and a diamond on some of their KO clicks. And when they die, you just turn them to that click. And there's a special ability each character gets when a certain uh, suit is showing, which is really, really cool. Very flavorful. Um, I like it, yeah. It's, the it's bystanders really, help out with that, too. They make it easier to obtain those like bonuses true. that they have. Also a, a really fun set of rules that come with this OP yeah. to like incorporate poker kind of like stuff so it's yeah hands. it's meant to be played in the battle royale format and you're each dealt five cards like just normal playing cards right away and then every time you ko a figure you can discard one of your cards and draw a new card either from the discard pile like anywhere in the discard pile so those are face up discard cards or you can draw a random card i want to say and then yeah at the end of the game whoever has the strongest poker hand also gets more points yeah which is really cool there's a video where brian there's a video on our youtube channel where brian galley goes and like the rules and everything on it so definitely be sure to check that out and then also, we also gameplay with it there's also gameplay with it yeah, yeah. So we also recorded a video of gameplay of someone and they doing pulled a a, uh, a black lantern green arrow in that to that kick it off fun. so not only did they get the special br they got a chase pull as well which is uh Seem to be more common than not. So many yeah, chases. Uh, we'll, we'll get into the BRs later because we had yeah. another Luke with us who, I mean, the guy hit 
jackpot after jackpot. It was insane. It was ridiculous. Yeah. It should be because the way BRs are split, it should be like a less than 50% chance to get a chase. Yeah. Uh, unless there's like multiple chases in a brick. Yeah. But I don't think we saw that outside of the God Packs. It'd be like a to pull a chase because you get four boosters. There's 10 in a, 10 in a brick. So, I mean, what, close to like a 35, 40% chance at pulling a like chase? Like something like that, yeah. Unless you get the overlap bricks, then I guess the odds are completely skewed. Right. But uh, probably around that. So, I mean, it's relatively good odds when you consider that. And then if you don't get a chase, the multi-prime bricks that Notorious has, some of them have four, which yeah. is absurd. We saw one BR that, what, had five primes in it? Mm-hmm. And uh, they had to make a rule where one person got to play multiple primes. <laughs> right, and... Yeah, walking through like the BR tables, just looking like looking for good opportunities to get footage and stuff. It felt like every other BR had a chase on the table, like or like just or, something you know, cool. They'd have you know? like camo, or they'd have you know. There's very few BRs that first day when I was looking, where I was just like, "Oh, you guys didn't pull any." Like I don't think I, there was like one. I'm sure there was, and I just didn't see it. But yeah, other sets have definitely have like just like. Oh, you guys didn't really pull anything great. Hope like hope the con yeah. exclusive they drop is good. But yeah. you know, these BRs were loaded and obviously it was pre release, so half of the reward is just getting this set early. Very true. But yeah. And was, that was like the best thing, and they we even heard some people talk about it where it's like the buzz around twenty nineteen worlds when we had X Men early and that was yeah. about right else that like and then the buzz around this worlds when we have a pre release set is just different. The numbers are way higher and just way better. And so like if they, if I really hope in the future they're like, oh yeah, this was way better. Let's absolutely have a pre-release set every year for Worlds because that'd be so tight, and it's just another incentive to just. If you go want, to Worlds. if you want people to come, if you want to increase those numbers, guarantee a pre-release. Like, because how many threads on Facebook were there where it's like, well, if it's Notorious, I'll consider going. Right, yeah. Oh, Notorious is there? I might have to, like, there were a few people who came there on Friday because they found out Notorious. Also, it makes teams insane. way more interesting because yes. yeah. people yes. aren't as practiced or aware of what they could potentially pull and play. Mm -hmm. If it was Avengers 60th, you would have had people that had already played a bunch of I've seen every 60th. distribution if we yeah. get this one we do these three teams right. you know you'd yeah. have some people like drawing up some serious schematics for so that Min Max in the sealed there so the big event on Thursday was the pulp events yes we checked out a lot of cool pulp teams if you've been following the WizKids article series you know that we also all made a bunch of pulp teams uh, I it was pretty cool. It was pretty fun watching it. There was a lot of the usual suspects at Pulp, though. It was a lot of uh, the certain Pulse yeah. Waivers, Deathstroke, Thor, um, Mr. Sinister, Marvel, Moira, Mr. Sinister, Moira, Manifold, There's a handful. Watcher. Yeah, Watcher. Oh Watcher was everywhere. I couldn't escape him, man. I'm sure there's data available on HC units if you guys use that site. If you don't, you should. Uh, they usually do the most played figures, so I'm not sure if there's a Pulp breakdown, but if I had to guess... Deathstroke, Blue Marvel, Watcher, Mr. Sinister, uh, probably maybe Teen Lantern. Teen Lantern, Teen Lantern was up a there. Lot, yeah. A lot. I'm actually curious now. Because Clay did comment on the post at 2023 Pulp World Championship. Is there a breakdown? Ooh. I don't know if you can search figure popularity by Pulp, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, so. no. about what you'd expect. One figure that. Uh, was played by Dan Powell and Alex Kuz that I really enjoyed was the uncommon Valyria who can pick attack yeah, powers sure. and has double perplex for shared keywords. I really like that choice. She also has eight range when she does it. So uh, that I thought was a great pocket pick, 40 points, great utility. And uh, they also played Franklin, who I think is still very underplayed. I, I don't understand how. I guess 65 points is a big sell in the format, but... Uh, you know, congratulations to Lucas on the win. Ryan Redman at the top table playing against him as well. Yeah. Uh, Dan Powell taking second. Very cool. That, that is an interesting thing to say, where it's like, oh, Lucas got first. That means Redman got second. Well, no, because this was just six rounds of yeah. Swiss, period. For, ti for timing reasons. For timing right? reasons, yeah, there was no cut, um, just because of the amount of time they had. So they just did a straight up six rounds of Swiss. Which is wild, because that means uh, the top table was Lucas versus Ryan Redman, but Ryan Redman Ryan ended sixth. sixth place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it really, 
it really benefited those that had a good record going into a lot of things, which obviously he did have a good record. And but. to be fair on that, uh, Pulp was originally slated for a different time, and they moved it to day one. Right. So they had to, you know, fit this whole tournament on a day that starts at 2 p.m. So I understand, you know, not having top cut. It's like, yeah, no one's a fan of that, but sometimes you got to work with what you're given. And it was just one of those days where that was the case. Well, and it's also, like, essentially the same as if they did... Um, if they had done four rounds of Swiss and then cut to like the top eight, yeah. Top, top if they if they did four? a top top cut, right? So, so four rounds of Swiss and then that would be if it was two more rounds, it'd only be top four. Yeah, they probably could have gotten top eight, but honestly, if you're slugging through four rounds at this tournament, and I know a lot of people dropped. I don't I don't know if that's necessarily better. I no. mean. If you're at if you're towards the top and they're only cutting to eight, like being nine or ten, or even eleven, twelve, like that would uh, that would suck. Yeah, it'd be so. I think they did the best with like the time that was allotted. You know, obviously there's there's some well, bad breaks. Yeah. It is what it is. Also, like there wasn't a day where they pushed like the tournament to like ten p.m. I feel like last year there was a few yeah. days where it was like well modern you know, like, went to ten. Your, yeah. They so, were like, we're going to do top 32, go quick. Right. And Not this year, but last no, year. Yeah. Last year, yeah. yeah. This year was much better, and we'll get into that. Yeah. So Pulp, I think, overall was a success. I think a lot of people enjoyed playing it. And I think with rotation, Pulp is about to be really cleaned up in terms of, like, yeah. uh, power figures being, like, less imbalanced, per se. Like, the Watcher's nasty. All the Pulse waivers. There's still a few, but... Uh, Party Thor's gone, Watcher's gone, Moira's gone, which Team means Lantern's the Sinister gone. combo's gone. Yeah. Um, Sinister still works, but now you have to miss in order to get his rally die. Yeah. So You it's aren't not... just taking a token every turn and right. keeping him in your back starting area, you know, just doing whatever you want. Um, I feel also like on Thursday, too, another very cool moment, uh, seeing it all come together. The International Player Foundation, we got to meet Andrea for the second time because he was there last year. Mm -hmm. He was uh, the reason the foundation started. Came up with that on the car ride home from Worlds in 2022. So getting him back was really cool. We also got to meet Edison Lee from Singapore. Both of them traveled way too far. Maybe not way too far, but so far. I mean, it, it's just like such a trek. Edison's yeah. flight, or yeah, his like flight path, his trajectory to get here was like 30-some hours. Yeah. <laughs> Which is insane. Counting like all the, the layovers and everything. And so we got to meet them, talk with them a bit. I'll have a video posted on that uh, probably by the time that you guys hear this. And uh, WizKids was kind enough to hook them up with some TCB packages as well as some additional con exclusives. So we got to give them that on behalf of WizKids. And that was a really cool moment um, just seeing, you know, the gratitude that they showed for... Uh, the work that was put into this and just, you know, being so appreciative. Edison also made a post about that on Facebook saying, like, it truly was a dream come true with him being an Infinity Challenge player. The guy's been around forever and doing something like this, he said, was just, you know, never a reality. It was so cool. It so, was really cool. Give these guys the opportunity to come to America, come to the World Championship. Well, he's, he's a great ambassador for the game. Oh, he absolutely. He's so good. helps run his own nationals. He runs a YouTube channel. He does so much for National his National champion for himself, yeah, that's too. right, dude. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as, like, highlights go, that is that is easily up there. Just uh, seeing all the work we put in, all the long live streams, all the shipping, all the planning, all the nights that, what, Simeon, we were on the phone for, like, three, four hours, like, rigging everything together. Yep. <laughs> Just the brutal nights and then, you know, seeing the community come together to make that happen. Uh it just makes me so excited for how big the IPF is going to be in 2024. Yeah. We can't thank Brad enough. Uh, speaking of which, he's yeah, going to be Brad, running, thank uh, you. He's going to be running a final online tournament with half the proceeds going to the IPF. Yeah, that's going to be next month, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, it's his farewell tournament too. Yeah, yeah. we'll be online. plugging that. But uh, seriously, such a good dude, and didn't have to put forth as much effort, but he really made a difference. And just, like, on top of that, just, he donated a ton. So like, he really did. Yeah. And not even just money, but time. There were so yeah. many nights, too, where I'd be talking with Brad. Like, you know, what do you think of this? Is this work? What do you think of that? How can we do this? And Brad 
pretty much always had the answer. So, Brad, seriously, thank you. This would not have been possible without you. And uh, also just promoting it, too, you know. Right. I'd maybe go share it to, like, players and collectors. I look, it has 15 shares. Brad's put it in Blast. every local group. And I'm just like, man, you don't have to do that. He's like, oh, but I do. So, seriously, can't say it enough, man. Thank you. And Brad's a real one. He's to everyone who donated... Uh, Lucas Landis giving us that last hundred dollars to preview the cap on the live stream. Thank you. Yep. Mike Eskew for being the first donator. Thank you so much. Everybody in between who participated, who played in our events. The IPF was awesome. And I'm telling you right now, I can't reveal anything at the moment. But 2024, if you have socks on, prepare to get them knocked off. <laughs> Knockback damage on oh the socks. Oh my gosh. It's going to be fun, guys. He can't wait for you to figure two. Ian that's <laughs> knockback damage, but only to target socks. Only, only sock, only yeah, socks. keywords. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Because that's totally happening. Yeah. <laughs> All of these things are real. But yeah, Brad's, Brad's been such a great staple of the community for so long. So oh, his hard work does not go unnoticed. And again, thank you so much for running yet again another event where half the proceeds go to the IPF. The IPF is awesome. You guys are pumped. They already said enough on it. Getting to announce all that, too, and just uh, introduce everybody to them. You know, I hope... I know uh, Edison and Andrea both took some pictures with people. They got to meet all these people who are, in a way, celebrities. You know, it's like, right. I never thought I'd meet you. Right. Like, I saw, you know, pictures with, like, Scott Crampton, uh, the Clicked Off guys. Yeah. You know, all the WizKids people. It was, it was very, very cool. So I'm glad we got to give that opportunity to you guys. It wasn't just us, obviously. You know, we couldn't yeah. do it without everybody's generosity. So. We were originally going to, like, make an, an announcement and be like, hey, like, here's our IPF winners. This is Andrea. This is Edison. Like, be friendly to them. Like, come up and say hi. But by the point where we went <laughs> to do that, they had already been, like, so integrated. Yeah. And, like, uh, everyone was just... And I, I should have just, like, assumed that's the Heroclix community. But everyone in the community just, you know, welcomed with them welcomed them with open arms and they were already uh getting like high-fived essentially by like every table as they walked by so it was really cool to see i think uh one of the coolest moments that came from that uh this happened in modern which we'll talk about in a second here uh edison in the second round ended up matching against saul saul yeah from mexico cool. So there's a nice little picture that we posted uh whiz kids did as well of mexico versus singapore now yeah. that's worlds and seeing that at a table was just like, this is exactly why we started it. There's so much more competition outside the States, and we have to... There was also We got to bring them in. There was a BR that was... Andrea, Andrea Saul. Andrea, Saul, and Edison. Edison, yeah. and then American guy. I think, was it Adam? <laughs> Adam Cole. I think it was Adam Cole, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So all I didn't great... know if he was Canadian or not. I've... Four, four countries oh, no. Maybe he's Canadian. I don't... Yeah, I don't Sorry, know off Adam. the top of my head, but yeah, it was just really cool that, yeah. One of the coolest moments that for sure. That one BR had, uh, yeah, four different nations represented. So Thursday, uh, another thing too is like last year we just ran into problem after problem. Yeah. Like we had so many technical issues, this, that. And uh, from the get-go, Wednesday, Thursday, no issues, balling. Having a good time. It was, though. It was so nice when things actually, like, you planned Had a things, good Wi-Fi connection. And they run Whoa. smoothly. It was wild. Ethernet. Man. Can't stop it. <laughs> I mean, uh, Ethernet's got stop clicks for sure. Oh, Probably Ethernet's 11 clicks. overpowered, my actually, God. WizKids, if you take away anything from this, nerf Ethernet. <laughs> <laughs> but also, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. We need please, it next year. We need it, yeah. yeah. We need it. <laughs> We need Ethernet to be as overpowered as possible. We're actually going to do two cords next year. Oh my yeah. god! Double the so Ethernet. So tight. Plugged into the same computer, so it's twice as fast. <laughs> oh, that's exactly how that works. Yep. I think uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it for Thursday. We went back to the hotel, yeah. hung out. You know, that's Chilled always a good time, guys. You got to stay at Graceland if you're going to Worlds. You got to be at Graceland every so night. Is just uh, a way to do it, man. It's so fun. You know, we got to hang out with a few of the WizKids employees for a while. Obviously, all the players. So cool. Just yeah. nothing specific there. It's just it's always a blast to either connect or reconnect with all you guys. So that leads us to Friday, I believe. Ooh, Friday the team sealed event. Our first yep. big morning event. So let's talk about the night before Friday quick. Okay. I want to say, <laughs> so just one final thing. Um, Thursday, there was a bunch of chatter about God Packs. There was, yeah. yeah. And no colored tray, though. Yeah, no colored tray. 
And the only picture that was floating around online was like clearly from a store, which I mean, of course it's yeah. going to be from a store. But I was like, it looks to me like a store just opened a bunch of product and then the fact that it was one. two though, yeah, I agree two with you, identical. Though. I agree with you though, Simeon. I was like, I'm not a believer. Yeah, nah, I didn't either. Real. No, and I did like the quick math in my head, and I was like, this is like way more than pre-release product. Yeah, for them to like have this many ten chases. chases. But at the same time, I was like, I just don't think. Like, I really think WizKids would have. Uh, like Marketing. promoted yeah, it promoted yeah it. like Scott would have opened one like you know, know an hour before that we had touched on it briefly there there was like the the brick with four primes right so hearing this and then hearing god packs it's just like no way what like, is this set's distribution no way what yeah. is happening yeah but it's fun but yeah it's really fun <laughs> fast forward to Friday we did end up getting confirmation fairly early on in the day yeah um, but yeah Friday started off with well hold up Okay. Friday night. Friday night. Oh, Thursday, we have, Friday. Thursday night. Thursday night. Okay. We Thursday have to night. get up at like, you know, seven ish. Gotta be there at eight. Mm. And you know, obviously we had a late night, it was fun. We get into the hotel room like twelve, one ish. And Luke, not Canada Luke, American Luke. Oh jeez. Is just I I'm in the same bed as him even. I'm right next to him and just a all night just limp biscuit impression coming at us like a chainsaw. <laughs> So that was just, that was brutal. So I will lie, I passed out before that happened, so I didn't, I didn't no, hear it at all. I, I'm a light sleeper. <laughs> I sleep I sleep really well through, like, rain and thunder and, like, all that kind of stuff. Not lawnmowers. But, yeah, if it's any noise that, like, I'm not used to, or even if it's just, like, my dog making, like, a... He'll sometimes howl in his sleep, and that always wakes me up. But, yeah, that was just jarring enough where <laughs> no sleep to be had. And, like, uh, there was one point... Uh, Simeon was still awake, and I was just laying there, and I just turned to Luke. I'm like, Luke, I swear to God. And then for like two seconds, he stopped snoring. I hear Simeon laughing. I was like, there's no way that actually worked. <laughs> Ten seconds later, back on. So Friday was brutal in terms of like going into the day, but enough about that. <laughs> Sounds like I missed some pretty good moments, but that's, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that. you got some good moments later. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was funny because yeah. it was just like... <laughs> I assumed everyone else was like passed out and I was the only one suffering and then I hear Ian say that I just like couldn't stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. So Friday for Notorious we did a handful of uh, interviews. We followed our team Team Dial. I don't even know what they went by but their team was it was like Luke LTD LTL LTL uh, uh, Luke Tristan Luke no. LTD though. Luke Sandwich Yeah Luke Sandwich So Tristan Ironically, though, the A player, so not in the Luke sandwich. TLL? He was the B player, yeah, TLL. Tool? Tool. Tool? Yeah, Tull. I guess so, Tool. So they had, uh, they had pretty rough pulls as far as uh, their brick went. We followed them, we live streamed their the pulls. Black and Adam was nice. Black Adam was solid. But Green Arrow is the chase. You know, is, is yeah, tough. Green Arrow is a tough Getting chase. Necron, though? Necron's, Necron's insane. Necron's big. Necron's big. Black Adam is big. But just wasted super rares of, uh, of Toy Man yeah. and Frank the Plant. Or yeah. not, not your money super rares like Simi and I talked about in the Although episode. We did see Toy Man Toy did Man, win yeah. worlds. We did see, yeah, it's true. He was on the winning team. Yeah. Um, to be fair. I probably would have played. There were two Zods on yeah, that team as well. I, say, I probably would have played Toy Man, just saying. It depends on the team, but like, yeah. Or you look like Toy Man. You look like Jester Jenkins I'm, or Jack I'm Nibble just saying, a 12 attack mind Jack control Nibble. that sees Jack through Nibble. characters is good. Yeah, you wear it black is. and white striped It's good. Pants or it's black just hard to quantify. Me, 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 me. Well, look at me, I got a star over here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, but. See, you, you could never be Toy Man, like a, bro. You're telling me I am. Yeah, well. What is it, Calder? I take oh, it. I take it away. away. You don't get to be toy man. You don't. Get, yeah. I'm taking away your toys. You're just man. Now. You're just man. <laughs> no, they. They're. I think their polls were probably about average, but a lot of yeah. people. I'd put it about B minus or C plus. Right, because a lot of people had a Black Lantern chase. I want to say there wasn't a lot of DC chases, so it seems like those are slightly rarer. Um, but the Black Lantern chases that you really wanted were. Like kind of the heavy hitter, more heavy I mean, hitter you ones. You want soups so bad for yeah. Black Lantern Chase. Soups I would even say we saw, I mean, we saw a ton of Martian Manhunters bold. Yep, I would have been fine running a Martian Manhunter double um, rollout and 
able we, to heal. And we saw stuff. some uh, some Batman haters that had Batman as a Black Lantern that weren't impressed. Wonder Woman's not an impressive Black Lantern to get either, and neither is Aquaman, really. So yeah, the Black Lanterns are kind of the tougher end of things, I think, deceased wise. Just better. Just, most of them, I won't say all of them, not, but not most of them have a much stronger attack heavy like yeah, forward kind of that thing. deceased hawk man is just so solid and sealed yep. so good i mean the the upgrades and adding 15 points to the figure is so nice so yeah. but um but yeah so team worlds was great it was a brand new set it was pre-release there was good buzz for team worlds they got the full brick and everything like it was just really cool i think it's the best way to run a team event i really really enjoyed it this year um there was one God Pack pulled out of 69. Only one bricks. God Pack. Yeah, so actually, kind of leading into that, uh, Ian was going around while Simi and I were on the live stream. <laughs> Dude, that was so and funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> Ian's doing charades for what Chase is pulling. I'm like doing the swimming for Aquaman. Yeah. yeah. And so when I see the God Pack, I'm like pointing to the sky. I'm like, and then I'm doing like, you know, the the sign of the cross. Yeah. I'm, do yeah. I'm doing that. And Which, Calder's just looking at me like this. And so Calder I do a saw, T pose. I'm like, Calder saw the sign of the cross and immediately <laughs> thought it was Superman. Ironically. <laughs> so, I, well, the T pose is what I thought it was Superman. I was like, it was I'm like, doing the like T pose. And I'm pointing Jesus, to the sky. Man. I'm mouthing God pack. <laughs> And so I finally just had to run over those. Like, they got a god back. Oh, it's a god back. Yeah. We, I yeah. thought I killed it. We failed I that it. one round. But uh, the rest of the rounds, we got pretty well. We did yeah. really well. I don't know what I was doing for Martian Man. I was just thinking that exact. I was like, what did he do but for But there was Martian like Man 80 billion Martian well, we Man. Got, we understood it. I think I was just doing like a thumbs was, up at that point. I was shrugging. Like, yeah, it yeah. was like it was a shrug. It was yeah. like, it's really yeah. like, oh, Martian oh, another Martian there was, Man. Because that was the most, like, I surveyed every table. Camo was not very pulled very often. No Ursa Ultra Chase. Martian Manhunter was everywhere. Uh, deceased Hawkman, I didn't see a lot of either. I'd say the second most pulled one. Oh gosh, there was a good amount of Wonder Woman, and there was a good amount of Aquaman. I'd probably yeah. peg those as two and three. But yeah, the deceased chases were yeah. definitely less so. A couple Jokers here and there, a couple Superman. I feel like Joker had to be like the least pulled one out of all. I just yeah. saw very few Joker. And it's hard time. to tell if that's just distribution because they got all these bricks from the same supplier. Oh, sure. And we know yeah. that sometimes different regions get mm -hmm. um, more of a certain type was of figure. There, uh, was there an Ultra Chase pulled in teams? I don't think so, no, right? No, zero. Yeah, once again, no yeah. Ultra Chase in teams. How curious. How but there were some curious. pulled in BRs. Apparently, so, there was like yeah. four or five pulled in BRs. Pretty cool. Yeah, someone pulled one the in team, the second round of BR. It's like, all right, we'll have fun. The team that pulled the God Pack ended up dropping. Um, they were newer players, but... Which, best possible I mean, scenario yeah, for yeah. the God Pack. <laughs> yeah, it would have been gross if uh, like a well-seasoned team oh, man. had pulled that, that and they just wild. had like all the power to build with. Yeah. Uh, when they were telling me, it's like, yeah, I'll play, I'm going to play Superman at 260. I'm like, are mm. you sure about that? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> Hopefully they had fun. <laughs> problem, yeah. The biggest problem with like those chases, like one, they're they're great, but none of them are protected outwit. So it's, Superman is is he his okay. damage special gives him protected outwit okay. on well, his other powers. But you could outwit, so you could his double outwit him. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. If yeah. you wanted to, yeah. If you had, so yeah, if you were running like that common Lex with some goons, you could outwit that. Dude, super I saw way more common Lex than I thought I was going to. A lot of outwit. Really, yeah, people were really utilizing him super well. But yeah, they ended up uh, two and two, basically winning the polls and then dropping. Yeah. But oh no! Oh, I thought you were talking about our team, team for a second. My bad. Oh no, our Jump team. Yeah. But no, yeah. Um, Luke, Teams Luke was and awesome. Kristen, it was electric. They won as always. It was both their first rounds. Our whole our team went three and zero oh in the first round. They went two and one in the second round, one and two, and then one and two, I believe. Oh dang, that's yeah. tough. The la I mean, the last round to qualify potentially to go three and one, they played against the people who went on to win. Right, and that is true. Uh, the teams they were playing. I mean, props to Antonio for playing uh, Saturn Queen at full. Yep, nobody else did Actually that. Saw it. No, I did see multiple people do that. Oh, really? Because at a hundred points, she has double prob, and there's only six top dial probs in the set. Wow, like possible at all, and so having double prob. I saw a few teams where they'd run Black oh, wait, Adam at right. 200. With, Lucas did that, yeah. yeah. So, like, just the ability to... Um, and in one of Lucas's matches, I can't remember who it was that he played against, but the 
his opponent, like, after their match was over, was essentially like, yeah, if you didn't have any probs, that game would have gone different, because, like, yeah, my first, wow. like, opening attacks all hit, and then got probbed into misses, and that's just the way it goes sometimes, I it's guess. It's weird. Like, playing hero clicks when you have no prob on your team, you feel so naked. So yeah. You feel so vulnerable, like, I don't know. But it does, it does make an interesting case for, uh... Like the yeah. validity of a world champion that's like from like a sealed because I think it's a harder format as a whole. Um, when you're given that wide of a range of like things with, to I build guess. with, yeah, but you're also limited in the sense where it's like you know you get what you pull. You have to compete with maybe someone who pulled better. There definitely is like a, I would maybe not like a ceiling, but like kind of a, an in between the ceiling where it's like. You can go so many different routes that you kind of decide where that ceiling is for like what your team will do. Right. Team Worlds is easily my favorite event of the year. It's so much fun. I love for it sure. when any tournament puts it on. I wish we could play in it. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Maybe next year Dial H will uh, <laughs> make their debut and. Dial know, H proper. We just hook up. That Dial H proper. We all wear suits. <laughs> that would be, so, be so fun. We just, Billion uh, clicks as boys. Oh god. <laughs> I've always uh, wanted to do the, the Rowdy Rough Boys. The Rowdy Rough, oh days. gosh. <laughs> what is what is Mr. Sinister? <laughs> the Nasty the Boys? The Nasty Boys. boys. Yeah. Uh, the nasty. No, maybe if we like hook up some cameras ahead of time and we just pop in. I don't know. We make the possible. loops do what we did this year and we just watch Twitch plays with them. Maybe we, uh, maybe we open up a brick and we sim games and somehow we miraculously win worlds. <laughs> we do like a, you know, a, a little Matt NBA, Reed NBA 2K here. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah Matt Reed special. <laughs> He's, I'm simulating, I'm simulating. By uh, Matt I Reed's uh, simulations, he has calculated that uh, Weapon H is in fact better than Prime Spider-Man. Feel free to message him directly on Facebook and let him know how you feel about yeah. that. That is, that is Matt Reed. T R E E D. <laughs> Matt Reed. R E E D. Let him know. Matt Reed. Make sure Weapon H does have a good willpower rule. That's yeah, true. Uh, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he, he, he <laughs> simmed it. He has the he science. He simmed it. Oh, okay. yeah. No, he simulated it. He, he simmed it. He he put it, plugged it into the <laughs> HeroClix AI generator and just ran endless. Weapon H is better than. <laughs> uh, so your team world champions were Garrett McConnell and of course Antonio. These guys were hilarious. We did a great team interview. If you want to check that out, it's on Facebook. Yeah, Garrett's he was out of the game for like. 10 plus years he came yeah. back this was his first world he's a world champion mcconnell so awesome long time supporter Dude, what of a great, yeah community member of hero clicks of us of dial h and just like right. finally met him he got our he got pineapple so he he also whispered pineapple yeah. uh, to me the first <laughs> yeah. day and he got his john walker captain america so congratulations they're truly the best also prize, his first actually. worlds which was so two out of the three for team worlds it was their first worlds ever um and they dubbed. Yeah, pretty dubbed. pretty awesome. And then Antonio, of course, just like a hero clicks event staple, staple, staple in the community. Yeah. Um, what say you? Yeah. Uh, also, <laughs> also his uh, classic questions in the Facebook groups, always getting discussion rolling, for sure. Oh yeah, constantly getting discussion rolling. But yeah, and he he blessed the tables with some art as as he, they uh, won <laughs> when they got announced that they won. He then instantly dropped everything and then drew a little quick portrait of the yeah. team. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. I was like, I really want to talk to this guy. But he's <laughs> kind of like, he's in his zone right he now. He is, man. He's just, he's just... After he whooped Luke in the final round to qualify, he's he like, drew, let me draw you a Spider-Man. a picture. And it's like, if that's not stunting... <laughs> I don't know just, what it is. I, yeah. I just... That's definitive right there. And so that night, we did our first challenge at the hotel yes well actually before we go into that let's do theme really quick um theme now people can say they dislike theme as much as they want or like it wasn't as popular as pulp but the meta for theme oh, that is... was on saturday that was, yeah that was during singles okay then never mind so we're just gonna get in the hotel here really quick well uh, right. quick Anyways. note throughout this ignore, entire event ignore. too we were just you know the live streams were a ton of oh, fun yeah. we had guests on that was a blast just to kind of cover that as a blanket I hope everyone at home enjoyed those. We obviously want to do that those uh, next year as well. And a big shout out to WizKids for giving us so much stuff to give away. Uh, we currently have that in our house. We're getting it boxed up today. It is Friday. Those will be sent out shortly. I don't know when you'll hear this episode, but uh, yeah, for everyone who won, 
make sure if you did especially or even if you didn't and just enjoyed it make sure you message whiz kids comment on their stuff saying thank you so much for giving this to me we were just the conduit for doing it but it was all right. whiz kids that made it possible we did they not gave, purchase those they gave us way more than they had so any they uh, gave us like 20 to. some con exclusives to give away uh, a billion legacy cards just literally it was so unreal. many legacy cards of a brand new set, like not just yeah, yeah. you know they could have been like here's some old legacy card packs, but yeah. these were brand new, notorious. I don't even own any of them. No, no. like none of us got to open any. For I saw ourselves, one Calendar but, uh, Man get opened, man. Yeah, is that the hidden? I didn't see a single Mazas get opened. I saw like four. Did you? Really? Yeah, I saw. I saw one. He's never. He's never. Um, around yeah, yes. I saw a lot of the Crime Syndicate. I saw two or three Dark Sides. Which <laughs> yeah, I think was what everyone was. Going one guy after. on our live stream got two. Yeah. <laughs> Props. Yeah. But yeah, one so, calendar yeah. man. And it's just like, man, of all the legacy cards, that's the one that I, I He's really also want. Just one of the most fun Pretty ones. Cool. He's really cool. He's so like, funny, dude. I love how they kept his uh, essence of, yeah. you know, playing on certain days. You're like, months. what's the best combo that I could like do on a Wednesday? Play? Yeah. In the summertime. Basically. <laughs> a Wednesday in the summer on a weekend. Yeah. Yeah, that's so funny. Um,. I think that's like odd or even days, right? Is what is like he does now. Like uh, odd or even months. Odd or even months. Okay. Yeah, there's odd or even months. There's. All right. I think World's weekend, non weekend, September. So it's something like that. Yeah. Which builds ready. Yeah. Prep. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah so Friday we did night. our we did our first giveaway at the hotel. So like Luke and I are sitting, just eating. We're hanging out with a few people, and we're like sitting there eating. I've got like I'm eating wings, so my hands are covered in barbecue sauce, and then I just notice that you guys posted on Facebook about Hotel Legacy Giveaway, where you give us each a goon. So for me, it was you give me a Black Mana goon, Simeon was a Gorilla City goon, and for Ian, it was, of course, just goon. Um, my likeness. You think they stole your likeness. They stole my likeness. Uh, and so I'm sitting there. I'm like three, four wings deep at this point, and my hands are just all sauced up. <laughs> and someone, like, slams down a Black Mana goon on the table, and I was like, oh, man. Oh, <laughs> that was geez. quick. So then I'm like... I'm like looking at my fingers and I'll like clean it off. I'll try to like wipe it off and I'm like, here it is. Wiping it off on the legacy card. Yeah, I'll like, yeah, pull out the legacy Get card, it. slightly sticky. The like legacy it card napkin. Um, yeah, <laughs> just, just, here you go. And then someone mistook John for Simeon at this point. John was wearing a hat. He had his glasses. He, he had, had long he had hair. hair. He had long hair. Really? So if, they were, if they were unaware about the Simeon cosmetic change. Yeah, that at Nationals, that definitely would have been a mistake that it I would have understood. But John's also like... Six to eight inches taller than very me. Very tall. Yeah. Which, I mean, when sitting, easily yeah, he's mistakenable. Sitting down. He's sitting down. But yeah, he's um, just much taller than And, me. like, he's just sitting there chatting, and someone, like, slams a Gorilla City Goon, and he's like, cool, nice. I, li I like that figure, yeah. Yeah, he was like, is it, all right, thank you. <laughs> and they're like, oh, there's a legacy card. And I was like, I don't have any more to give you, man. But John had a legacy card. We only on, had the and one. he handed it to him. It was hilarious. Mm. I, like, we, I was like, yeah, you know, guys, we'll bring some legacy cards back to the hotel. Because we did that last year. I handed out a few just kind of randomly. And I did not think that this would be as explosive as it was. People because on my rushing head, to like rushing to get them to <laughs> us. Is crazy. Up to their hotel I was up in the down. room when I put it on Facebook. And uh, Luke's like, oh, I'm going to use the bathroom quick. I was like, okay, for sure. So when he's done, we walk out. I step off the elevator. The door is open. I've got three dudes in front of me. Ian, Ian, did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? Unfortunately, so they did not have the right goon. They had like every goon but goon. So, Dang. so yeah. I had to deny them. I, I made it up to them the next day, so it's all good. But uh, I walk out into the hallway instantly. Like Jay's like, have you gotten claimed yet? Yeah. Jay so, saw me from like across the back uh, patio Jay area. Jay was fighting, dude. And yeah. just ran all the way over to me with the... With two goons, neither being the correct goon oh, for me. No. And he's like, where's Calder and Ian? And I was like, well, if I knew that, they'd probably be close to me. But I don't know where they are. Nope. That, which was a lie. I knew you were in the... Let, me check, my, <laughs> let me check my Apple tags. Yeah. <laughs> we geolocated ourselves before this so I could inform people where they were. But no, that was really fun. People loved it. Oh, we yeah. loved also, it. I suppose just talking about fan appreciation. That, oh yeah, that was happened. Saturday too, wasn't it? No, no that, that was Friday. Friday. That, that was Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it was pretty cool. We got to see Irene Adler. And we got to see Sherlock fighting, fighting Sherlock. The Sherlock. Holmes. 
The card. Um, oh, we got to yeah. see the card designs. Amazing. Chase the car. Like, we did not get to see no. the car. I would have remembered if we got to see we the car. We did show off. You'll the see car. it on a shirt eventually. Uh, eventually. Um, we also got to see the first look at flocked King Kong. It looked mm. all fuzzy. Yeah. Looks pretty cool. We got to see Kathan. He actually handed out that figure. You could go check it sculpt out. Sculpt of the year. Such cool sculpt. Very Probably such, sculpt of the year. Yeah. Such a cool sculpt. Colossal damage symbol on a standard base. Three hundred points. Uh, he had a trade and improved bolts. something. Triple lightning bolts. A, I'm excited. Eight range, I think. Uh, yeah, I want to say about eight range. I don't know what their plan is, but the fact no split lines like this guy is yeah, going to be a points brick only. house. Yeah. Like, really cool. my guess is they're going to print the dial smaller so that it goes from 1 to 24 oh on a standard oh, base. Geez. Man, people with glasses <laughs> screaming. <laughs> That's, I, I mean, I highly doubt it, but that would be that hilarious would be, if they really tried to fun. do that. It so it's like a it's like a spiral dial where it like clicks down and like keeps like you know <laughs> it's, what I mean? it's a corkscrew. <laughs> yeah, it's so like yeah. a corkscrew. Yeah. So the dial like feeds up into the figure itself as you keep clicking it. What if uh what if below the dial there's just like a pair of legs? <laughs> Like the sculpt, yeah, it's like a just, four inch figure, <laughs> and there's legs below the dial. No, that's for the second oh, dial. Man. So there's a dial that goes that's just the legs, and then the dial that's like oh, yeah, like up. clouds at like where yeah. his oh, waist my is. God. Yeah, there's the, our predictions, guys. Very serious, that's yeah, really very serious. If we're wrong, uh, I can't I believe know. we got a raw how on earth we get a raw, but you don't pull them together either. No, <laughs> it's Never. like Exodia, you have to collect them. Yeah, that was Bringing uh, back that was build awesome. Clicks. Build a clicks, but every every piece has a dial that you have to. Okay. What were the other sculpts that we we got to see? The headless Disney horseman Plus, got we got horseman. to hold that one, yeah. which was very cool. Um, there was one more though, I thought. Oh, that they passed around. Yeah, that we showed there on the was, stream. Um, there was it was Cathan, Cathan the headless horseman for sure. And then we it was got a to Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider like twenty ninety nine maybe. Because I thought he had like a robot. Oh, it was a, a Alejandro. Oh, yes. that's right. Yeah. Okay. I think she had like Fantastic Four team ability too. I can't remember. Maybe she was wild card. One of the Maybe. two. Maybe. But uh, yeah, the sculpts are, once again, guys, if you didn't hear it earlier, fantastic. They're really good. A lot of fun. So the fan appreciation, it was like, I think, 22, 23 minutes total. We got to show that off on stream, so people at home got to watch that. That was really cool. That's a first ever. Yeah. And uh, we mic'd up John against his. Yeah. Through the convention well. doors to across the convention hall. <laughs> Another cool thing we got to see was that Deadpool just dripped out in trophies yeah, and awards. Yeah, sick. Yeah. We the, did get to see the one of the Iron Men for the Hall of Armors. He's pretty cool. Cards are sick yeah Again, i love the, the blueprint design yeah. on the back whoever's mm -hmm. doing the iconics art like hats it. off to you you are or them i guess whoever you guys are you're killing it yeah i really liked the irene she makes bystanders yeah. goes off the map makes bystanders and, and like then, one of them secret yeah if you yeah. find like the correct bystander then like she takes damage or something but um the fact that she can basically use all of her utility through bystanders is really cool. Really, really fun. I want to say this was new. We got to see not only just Johnny Blaze, Alejandro Blaze. We got to see a Danny Catch, which was really yeah. sick. A Welcome Spirit back. Rider, Slept near. It's been yeah, like 15 dude. years. We got to see some more Hero Glow people with the, the Hellstorm. Yeah. I think. Damon Hellstorm. Damon Hellstorm, yeah. yeah. Kathan, obviously. Where else were we at here? Talk about oh, yeah, they released uh, one of the most Rider. meta figures ever. Yeah. Um, this yeah. Ghost Rider, let me just read this power the quick. 70 point super rare Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider and adjacent friendly characters can use their powers regardless of opposing effects. Protected Pulse Wave. Hey, where was this a year ago <laughs> when Scarlet Witch came out? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> But he's also just good. He's 70 points, hypersonic, 4 damage, poison. He's got another trait where he can decide if uh, if dice can or can't be re-rolled. And if you hit, uh, or if you miss, you deal him 1 unavoidable damage. But he also just has traded regen and willpower. He's got the like vehicle rider trait, whatever you guys want to yeah, call it. Yeah, pilot trait. So yeah. he gets to like, pick a power on top of that. Like this ghost right, also a wild card with mystics. A billion keywords. Yeah. We won't go super in depth. What but guys, year is it, man? Ghost Riders meta again? Whoa. You <laughs> are going to see this guy on all over the place. Dude. So many teams. Yeah. Uh, your Cosmo don't care. Uh, any other power racer I'm forgetting don't care. Amazing. That figure is going to make a splash. 
uh, under the thing we saw, which yeah. is also crazy. Again, having me ask, what year is it? Uh, entities are back. Possessors are back. So they show off Cone Shoe here. Cone Shoe, Cone Shoe. Whatever Throwing it back them. to 2014, I yeah, guess. Yeah, man. Ghost Rider, Just, War Light. You know? Ghost Rider, War Light, all this stuff. So these Love are the sculpt. Oh, it's so sick. It's the... Uh, Calling it's the, the moon. Yeah. yeah the, uh, Turning back. Every day I wake up and I have to wake up. <laughs> and I have to call the moon. moon. Lonely is a man without love. Just that whole that whole scene, which he is really the cool. iPad out. <laughs> yeah, he's, Kanchu is holding an iPad, guys. <laughs> Take our word for it. Um, so basically, he's 10 points, and you choose a character to be Kanchu's avatar. But if they have the Herald keyword, it's zero points instead. Any yeah. Green Lantern. Then that Any character lantern. We just got a ton of Heralds. Black Lantern. Yeah, it's kind of insane. So, But they can't be equipped, so you have to choose if you're a Herald, either to be like a Lantern, depending on which Herald type you are, or you just got to have... You get to be an avatar for Khonshu here. Um, this game, his avatar can use stealth and prob, and also scores the points paid with this trait. Those with powers KO. suck. Yeah, just stealth and prob. Yeah. Just real casual. I give someone traded no. stealth and prob. It seems okay. You know, so now Surfer, for zero points, just has stealth and prob. Yeah. Cool. And I does this count as being equipped? It does. Well, I don't know if, I don't know if it counts as being equipped, but it says they cannot be equipped. It says they can't be equipped. I don't know if this counts as equipped equipment. Yeah. So, uh, King Killmonger, your days are numbered. Dang, dude. I don't For know. Real. We'll need a. We'll need so an official. True, actually. Does Galactus count as equipment? Uh, he does. Uh, well, I honestly don't know. I think he's equipped too. The Once character. Again, this I don't is know not if he our. Counts as being equipped though. This is not our. We're not the rules, guys. But yeah, but he's need... also just like a fun dial for 125 points. This hypersonic, this really yeah. short speed, hypersonic speed. He ignores characters. He's a giant, which is, you know, he's big, he's a big dude. If you watch him in the show, he's way taller. He's got some stop regen. Regen is free. He's got two stop clicks on his This dial. is a piece I'll, I'll definitely have to own, and I know I'm going to have to uh, pay the price to get it. Yeah, we get to see some more people from Disney Plus next phase. We see a uh, tracksuit kind of. mafia, a thug man. Um, we get to see the porcupine, and we get to see Madison. From freaking She Hulk, just <laughs> wild that she's gonna that be crazy that in she's the game. What, what is she gonna do? <laughs> we get to see some Hang information on the Deadpool Weapon X set. Uh, first ever, it's gonna have character specific dice appearing in some boosters. And John did say these dice aren't gonna be one through six necessarily, they'll yeah. be some funky dice. Um, they're gonna be serious and fun versions of Deadpool and Wolverine and wacky, never before seen effects and gameplay. So nice. I what also like the fun Wolverine. Symbol. Are you hoping for yeah. Simeon? I like the sense a lot too. Uh, what fun Wolverine are you hoping for based on that information? A fun Wolverine. Uh, well, nothing from like the current, well, slightly current uh, X Men run where there's like just a bunch of half cloned vegetable wolverines that beast made they're like krakoan plant i don't know they're vegan what was, what was that one wolverine like, that brad sent that's like just wolverine. the head vegan. with the two oh snicks. he's uh, like a the, pod the, like robot weird Modoc thing. wolverine yeah that would actually be pretty funny yeah it's it makes no sense but it's like old man logan wolverine and he just has like <laughs> knives like his claws like jutting out of this like robot body but the whole thing makes no sense it's yeah. so funny it's so funny though but yeah, so there's... That's pretty much Friday. I know uh, much, yeah. when we got back to the hotel, so the whole time we're here, every time I run into Soul, he's like, I have something for you. I have something oh, for yeah. you. Oh, yeah. And I'm just like, okay, well, I'm, I'm here. He goes, no, 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 not now. No, 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 not now. So then on Friday, he comes up to me. He's like, you've been running away from me this whole time. I was like, no, I have not been. You keep telling me this Stop thing. Stop lying. Yeah. And uh, so I go up to uh, his room with him. And Toxiclix, thank you guys, Richie, Soul. Yeah. Seriously, this was a really cool gift. They gave me a very nice bottle of Mezcal. And uh, this stuff is, I mean, if I'm being honest, it's like gasoline. This it is, is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is oh, uh, some, some hot stuff. It's, we, uh, I'm not we a big alcohol guy. You the so jet fuel there. The jet, the jet yeah, fuel. We partook in um, a cheaper bottle that they, like, they also brought just bottles to share with everybody down in the lobby. Right. Every night. And, uh, whew, it it's was, tough. it was, yeah. So probably when we do our New Year's I stream, did, yeah, I will crack that open. We'll have, a, we'll have a couple sips, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, man. It is, it is definitely a sipping, not a, uh. Yeah, they kept saying, sip, sip, sip. I saw <laughs> a few people throw it back, and I was just like, you've got a stronger stomach than me. Yeah. Like, 
It was... Oh, you just made me, like, <laughs> shake, dude. I, yeah. I felt that down my back. Yep. <laughs> it was... It was good stuff, but it was not so the kind of thing that you Regardless, want. Regardless, a, a very amounts. cool, very genuine, and seriously, guys, awesome. thank you. I, I really appreciate the gift. Um, it will probably be years before that gets finished. So, right. But we'll do our best. So thank you again, guys. Toxic Clicks, they're awesome. If you guys don't big follow shouts, them, big shouts. follow them on Facebook or YouTube. They're awesome. And then the next day was our 300 Modern Day. Big shout out to the judges, I Levy, uh, Aaron, all of them. Uh, what's his face? Anthony, Jay, Anthony, Mike, uh, Mike, Chris. Mm -hmm. You guys were huge in the entire event. It kind of goes unsung a lot of the time for just thinking about like the help and everything. But big shout out to the judges for for being there. Obviously, Brian was also judging pretty hardcore. Mm -hmm. He was judging the style of fit. You know, Brian, yeah. gangster at hearts. So, you know, he was like, yeah, he was on a segue. No. Yeah, <laughs> I love the idea of Brian on like a segue though. Be like, ooh, just speed over, yeah, dude. Through the so halls. Funny. I know we um, talked about it last episode, but huge shout out to the Anthony Norm combo. Anthony being yes. the one that yeah. like forced Norm's hand, and Norm being the guy that coded their new seating app. So cool. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Such a huge load off of our shoulders, not having to run up, take pictures. We could just drop the link. Anyone at home that was interested, where their buddies or friends or whoever, just interested in general, could follow throughout the day. And not just the like main events, but all the side events that were happening. You could just go to that link and look at basically like the tournament standings at any point. It was really cool. Definitely something I want implemented. Awesome. Like everywhere yeah like if you're hosting a states event me being able to just check in on that would be huge oh yep and uh That'd be cool. you know you don't always necessarily want to watch 40 minutes to an hour of gameplay so just being able to see oh that's who's playing who and then i can check their build that's i mean phenomenal really really cool stuff but friday kicked off strong uh saturday. i was pulling or saturday sorry Pulling players for interviews, had them on the live stream. That was a ton of fun. They got to give some stuff away. I talked with Caleb, Mike, uh, Eric, Justin, let's see, Lucas, Josafa. We talked with Edison a bit, and we were just, you know, running them through the gauntlet, seeing what they were playing. Got to learn a lot about some different strategies and just what their thoughts were going forward. A lot of those, I think, uh, four of the six people we talked to made top cuts, so that was really impressive. Mm. And... You know, Simeon, Calder are doing overtime, getting pictures of builds, oh, man. everything like Simeon, that. The fact that Simeon, like, let maybe he set up a little station. Three people slip past. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was. You had it taped off, even. Yeah, I talk about revolutionary. That. I know. Yeah, yeah, standing at the front, going, imagine, "Hold on!" Imagine putting tape. Well, and another <laughs> another huge I'm shout imagine. out to the judge team because yeah. they were so like so had our backs on just every moment. Anytime we needed something. They were just like, so, yeah, said we wanted a picture of every build sheet, so they were like stopping people. ID stopped so many people, um, but also when they were done verifying the build, they'd be like, now take your build sheet over there. And that was just, just having that Gave officialness. Gave us authority. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, nice. so I didn't have to Ambassador. try and stop people. Uh, but, yeah, that made a huge help. And then, yeah, the... Uh, the absolute just high technology of a rectangle made out of tape impressed several Never before people. seen yeah. in the Hero I walked world, over actually. there. I was like, dang, good idea. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a good it's idea, like, get though. a nice shot of every team, and then people are like, oh, this... I mean, it just, you know, it starts that cue where it's like, okay, I put it here. Yep. yep. And a lot of people just put it there for me, and all I had to do was tap the button. I did that 156-ish uh, times. Yeah. So and you patted everybody down. My little my finger <laughs> got really sore after, like, about the 150th the tap. The comparison to last year of... Carpal tunnel Wait, don't enter that room yet. I need a picture yes. of your build sheet. What do you mean you need a picture of my build sheet? I just need to get a picture. And it's like, what? Why do you need a picture? I'm like, oh my god. My secret tech. Yeah, dude. Your secret also, tech of running shot energy explosions. <laughs> it didn't slow the cue no down as much as I thought it would. I really thought, like... There would be this big like no, line like backed up, but not it was at all. it was quick enough. You know, they already had their build sheet out because they just so got much them smoother just all yeah. around, dude. Just in every so regard, awesome. this entire event just ran pretty seamlessly. It's almost like we learned from some mistakes from last year. Crazy. Not yeah. even just on our end. I'm, oh, I'm talking like everything. We definitely oh, yeah. we learned a ton. Yeah, we came home last year like ooh. Yeah, we and this year we came back like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had much better ideas of how we we're gonna go about stuff, but also I think WizKids probably 
took what they did last year and uh, came back with much better ideas because the, having the three rooms instead of the two was huge. Yeah. Um, having that main room, like, where it's always kind of been was pretty cool. Like, that helped us out a lot. I know they didn't specifically do it for us, but it was just really nice that they that gave us a way. great space oh my gosh and thank you so again awful. Wiz kids for that because we were right by the action and to just go off of some comments we heard from other people uh one person had mentioned like yeah it just felt like so much of, more of a legitimized event having dial h there and that means the world because that really does yeah that's what we want to do with you know making the event feel like it's supposed to, this big time event, you well, got the cameras out. I don't think you can argue that this wasn't the best Worlds ever. Like I think, oh, absolutely. On so I've many, never seen on so many levels. Never seen. There's only been energy. three years at Graceland, Graceland yeah. which just de facto Graceland's better than any other convention. Yeah, I, I mean, no debate. People, people could argue, but yeah, suck it, Pax. <laughs> oh, it's stunned on. <laughs> not having to buy a badge, not having to like <laughs> wait in lines, queue. You don't have to like do all that stuff with the uh, the yeah. rest of the people that aren't there for your game. For, like, a Heroclix Worlds, there's nothing beating Graceland. And then uh, in the last three years, I just think we've seen it get better, and this year was definitely the best. Uh, it was I mean, so you guys are on Facebook. that have anything to complain about. How many, outside of one thing, which we are not going to talk about, how much positivity did you see after this? I have oh, never man. seen... I've, been playing the game since the beginning it was yeah. crazy. i've never seen anything close to this to everyone who reached out specifically to us thank you so much again but not even just with dial h like I, like it was everything the event overall yeah. just yeah. there were no major hang-ups there were no major delays you know a few things here and there but like most of it was just ran through pretty easily and yeah just all these people posting these like big statuses of like I had so much fun with this. I was so happy to meet all these the people. All stuff. these, yeah. 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 Like, Everyone really came together for all of it. And I, I just, I really, I've never seen such a wave of positivity come after an event. So that is, it's spectacular. I'm really yeah. hoping that we can recreate that energy just everywhere now. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, I, I have no words for it. It was so cool. The day after Worlds, just scrolling through Facebook and just seeing so much covered and so much talked about and how much fun people had. It's, yeah, it's it's awesome. No, I agree. Just to the drive home, I'm like, also not that bad. The, seeing all the, well, I mean, yeah. seeing all the posts on Facebook about people, like how much fun they had, you know, doing the shout outs for like the teammates that they were there or like just people that they were glad they met, you know, that kind of stuff seeing all the selfies that people were posting from, you know, hanging out with, like, whoever, people that they met for the first time ever, that kind of thing. That was really cool. Um, and then Saturday was a, it was a short day, so they decided not to. I thought for sure they were going to break into Top Cut that Dude, day. so did I. And they did not, so it actually They made gave it. people the night to prep for 32, which, really smart. I like yeah. that. I mean, Modern as a whole, once again, ran, like, seamlessly. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, gotta give a shout-out to our Theme Worlds winner uh, as Michael. well. Michael, yeah. Uh, Michael, worlds. crazy last name. Yeah, dude, just a wild, just a wild uh, We'll time. find it in a second. But dude. he uh, he was 4-0 in Swiss, and he's like, all right, I'm gonna peace out this last round, go play Theme, goes and wins Theme, with yeah, none corny, other than corny, the Chuck. Ultra Chase Thanos. This was, yeah, it was crazy cool. His uh, his team was that Ultra Chase Thanos with every Five gem gems. but Space Six Gem. Six gems, sorry. Star Sapphire, Q, and Sprite. Mm -hmm. And the whole, like, the biggest thing was he just wants to roll a 10, right? If you roll a 10 or higher. Roll a 10, trigger five of your so gems. So the biggest thing was that he had, where is it? Oh, yeah, baby. The Star, so he could try to make that happen a little more often. He has Q, Q with the uh, dice replacement that, that happened. Yep. And, yeah, it, when it happened, it happened, like, a hand full of times throughout the tournament and he's like yeah i got me like 10 attacks this turn it was so awesome and dude. i was like holy smokes dude because so. they it can continue to trigger so if yeah. you guys don't know when thanos hits with this build he gets to heal from the time gem you cannot prob him because of the reality gem or sorry he gets to heal from the soul gem right time gem no prob no prob reality gem he gets to make an object attack with an object from just outside the game mm -hmm. mind gem he gets to mind control you and power gem he deals one pen, one pen. And then he didn't have Space Gem, but that one lets you place 8, which is the most fun. And if, if, he if hits, any of those are 10s... Yeah, if he hits with a 10 on any of those, like that free mind control or that free object attack... Again. He gets to like start the whole thing over again. It's Jason Wingard Thanos, baby. Yeah. 
I, the thing we, I think all of us were in agreement that we loved the most about this build is that only 60 points of it were modern. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That was really funny. Well, I mean, like, the best sense. part of it is that, I mean, me personally, I was in this struggle as well. Thanos never won a yeah. major event while he was in modern. He also, I don't believe, ever won a States event. I tried. I got second, like, three times with it. It was tough. I hate you, Kobik. But to walk away and finally give Thanos his unsung clout, yeah, you were the you're the greatest. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, sir. Yeah. So yeah, then like it was so cool, and like I kind of alluded to earlier, I loved seeing the teams for theme. They look oh, they so were awesome, nice. Dude. It looks so aesthetically pleasing on the map. Detective, you look at it, and you're like, mystical, that's a detective theme. Monster, that's mystical. Oh, that's definitely Spider Man fam. Yeah, it's so fun. Justice looking League at team. It. They out just there. they look all good next my, to each other. My why favorite because they're a theme team. That's why my favorite aesthetically was the uh, person that was running just like the Hellfire Gala. That was oh, cool. Cool, like, cool. I I have seen those figures on the map so little. That it took me a second to even like realize like what was going on on it. I was like, "Yeah, what is that stuff?" Like, I just I genuinely, I've only seen them maybe put on a table like once, and never like as a full team. So I was like staring at it for a long time, and then I finally was like, "Oh, Ooh. he's running a full like health fancy, yeah, look at you, high class, yeah, high fashion, high fashion, high fashion." Yeah. Uh, so yeah, really cool. I love theme, man. Like honestly, it looks like way more interesting fields than pulp. Just yes. off rip. I was just like, wow, it's really I wish really cool. they had been flipped like the days that they honestly, were. Honestly, yeah, I would have loved to the see. The main event was modern though. So. Main event <laughs> <actually> was <laughs> right. But guys, it was the usual suspects. There were a few outliers like 2 by 2 Apoc made his resurgence. People Wild. found him again. Mm -hmm. Uh Spider-Man Prime, I mean, you guys already know, obviously he's he's still Spider-Man. Yeah. My personal favorite team was Caleb Reddick's, his defensive shell. It's mm -hmm. He won Canadian Nationals with it. He's in the top 32. Go check it out. Really cool team. I think uh, outside of that, though, we can all agree on one of the coolest builds was Mike Eskew's and also... Nicholas Madsen. So, uh, Nicholas Madsen? Yeah, Madsen. There? Nicholas Madsen. Madison, sorry. Excuse uh, me. So, so your favorite, you said, was Caleb. Definitely Mike and Nicholas were my favorite. Yeah. I loved like the usage of... like. Miss Marvel, she's mm -hmm. such a cool, like Post well rotation. designed piece. She's I think cheap she's now. Be, uh, Pick one up. Yeah, she's, she's like monster. five bucks online. Yeah. Go get one. Simi, do you have a favorite build or two? For modern um, or five. Gosh, there's there's some kind of like out there stuff that was being played. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but the fact that a three hundred point APOC made it. Big into shout out Logan Carroll for because running three hundred point prize APOC. In how did Soul you not Sword. get checked in Swiss? That's, that's unreal. That's the cheapest. I have to assume that's the cheapest team that made top thirty two. Yes, a single yeah. figure with a single sword. So like yeah. maybe two hundred, yeah. two fifty. Like tarot deck. Yeah, I honestly I could see the uh, the animal teams being pretty cheap. That Nicholas Madsen and Mike Eskew are running. Those aren't crazy expensive figures anymore. Uh, a couple Legacy Lockjaws, a couple Maggots. Miss Marvel is dirt cheap. Once again, pick her up right now because she will not be. She, she can be a Black Lantern, guys. Boom. Oh, geez. Yeah. It is true. Isn't she it? can be anything. Yeah. She's a Scott Porter esque. You know, you can heal her past her starting line with the Black Lanterns, too. <laughs> so there you go. Pro tip. There's that, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, shoot. I lost my train of thought there. I was too involved in the Miss Marvel. The animal team, though, it's probably on the lower end of what we saw. Um, I mean, any team also, that had, like, Legacy Green Lantern, which there was quite a few. So much. That's dude. instantly out of the question. Anything with MOE Swap, also quite a few out of the question. Yeah. Uh, I think we had yeah. some fun matchups yeah, throughout Top 32 to Top 6, well, that led to the final table. Oh, I guess um, my favorite was... Uh, all the Lokis. What was it? War of the Realm Loki? Yeah. Jeez, yeah. I Carnage, War of the Realm never Realms seen those Loki. played competitively. Prime Hulk, too, right? Yeah. yeah. The I, only Prime Hulk in George Top Massu. 32. George Massu. There was two. Oh, those are two? Okay, there's yeah. two. But yeah, it was really cool. I One of my favorite matchups that we had was a Caleb Reddick versus Alex Mater, Canadian National Champion yeah. versus the United States National Champion. That was really fun. Um, Alex's dice were hot. Yeah, Alex Oof. coming out on top yeah. for that game. Pretty wild. It was, did a, uh, I know uh, prior to Worlds, I had said I don't, I don't know if he could do like a repeat because coming out of Nationals, going into right. Worlds, but man, he came close. He, he did. did a, he did a great job. Good great job. showing. Uh, top. Uh, top eight, I believe. Top eight. That sounds right. Sure. I think he lost in top eight to Scott Crampton. Yeah, lost to Scott. Yeah, top and eight. Then, that's right. Yeah. 
So yeah, I mean, amazing showing in the the top of the field was just a ton of amazing competitors. And the fact that there were so many new names amongst cool. all, yeah, dude. all these like all Legacy. these very yeah, like very Tom uh, Brady's potent yeah, <laughs> players. Uh, it was cool to see so much new blood in like the high end of competitive. Um, at least new to me. Like I I'm bad with names, but uh well, I mean, you know, Zane was certainly new. Yes, absolutely. Zane uh, just crushed it. I mean got all the way to the finals and I watched his match against Lucas and he didn't even know what two by two APOC did. That was did. hilarious. And he still just... looked at your card. Yeah. Mm. Boom. I gotta give a shout out to Paris as well. Upsetting yep. that was wild. The prodigy, the man that no the true Tom Brady that no one would ever bet against. This is I mean this is burning money, guys. Top thirty two, Paris, last seed, who Ooh. got in to top thirty two because of strength, strength of, schedule. of schedule. If you don't and know what that is, tie. neither did I when they first said it. So because so direct tie, top thirty two, Paris, one thousand sixty five points, uh, three wins, two losses. The guy right below him also one thousand sixty five points, three wins, two losses. The person below them one thousand and sixty points, yeah. <laughs> three only, wins, two losses. A cloak off. away. Um, yeah. So why did Paris get in over the other guy? Because he had throughout the tournament been ranking higher than he did. So strength yeah. of schedule bumped him up to thirty second place, he had and then he played against people that were placed higher. I, I don't. I don't know how it works. Well, yeah, that's just, that's but, how it is. So yeah. if you play against people who are higher on the totem pole and you win. Then yeah, then yeah. yeah. So it makes, makes sense. sense. He had harder match. It's it's Probably. a tough break if you're on the the back oh, end of it. It sucks. Right. Yeah, but it is 100. percent I will you know shoot me a message if you want to talk about it. 100 percent better than a roll off. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If you for all also, people it's... suggesting a roll off, don't leave something like this up to chance. You no. have to have a tiebreaker. Like you have to. Well, and. I it don't play other competitive gambling. games, but other <laughs> competitive like games gambling. use that. Yeah. So. Well, Grand Falls, baby. Grand Falls! <laughs> Ugh, I got burns yeah. on Grand Falls, yeah. though. It's a tough life. No, I mean, Gambling's not fun. <laughs> but anyhow, Grand Falls. Anyhow, anyhow, <laughs> games that <laughs> don't have a point system, like you either win or lose, and there aren't points. So mm. like a lot of trading card games have that kind of system where it's not you don't like score points against your opponent. You play until one of you wins, one of you loses. They have to go by strength of schedule. And so it's not like this is foreign. No, know? it's actually more common than the way we do things. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just didn't know that because I don't play any other games. <laughs> yeah. I only play Hero Clicks. Oh, instantly so. I heard, oh well, Magic the Gathering, this that. And I'm yeah. Like, okay, well that's a a really big game. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So I was on board with it immediately. But seriously, yeah. Shout out Paris being thirty second seed, playing the number the, the one first seed, and then beating yeah. Isaac. We just have to cover round. this too. Like last year, like. When Isaac's coming in first in Swiss, it's not close. He no. had 1,575 points last That's year. Fun. This year he had, I think, 1,350. Something like that. He yeah. was a couple hundred points above the rest this year, and last year he was literally like 500 points above the rest. I mean, the guy comes in and stomps. I saw him play against opponents who, okay, so he went against guys who played against Sp Prime Spider-Man, and they won. He shows up with Prime Spider-Man. He does not lose. He goes 5-0. It was it was just insane. I watched him stomp some people that, you know, had played against similar matchups, and he did it. I don't want to insult the other pe the people on the other end of it, but, I mean, he just easy. makes it look yeah. easy, man. He does, yeah. So, for Paris upsetting him in that match, like, you know, maybe you didn't win at all, but seriously, man, congratulations. That's, uh, yeah, that's an accomplishment for sure. <laughs> yeah. I would, uh, I'd wear that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that'd be like the high school football championship shirt you get after winning. Well, and I'm wearing that forever. <laughs> our top 32 had, what, five previous world champions in the top 32? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Scott Crampton is one of those. Isaac is one of those. Ooh. Paris. Paris is one of those. Geez, sorry, Paris. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, so really so gassing Isaac, you up. <laughs> Isaac, Paris, um, Adam Friedman, um... Oh, the online check. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he won, I don't, back to back years? I don't remember. But yeah, he won those. George Masu. George Masu, oh, yeah, George obviously. Masu. Yeah. Dang. 
I do want to do a quick shout out to my teammate from Huntington, Spencer White, for rocking a mission point team. Yeah, baby. To, uh, to top 32. A lot One of map every round in Swiss. Almost undefeated into insane wild, into the top 32, but yeah. took his first loss to, uh, to Isaac. To yeah. Isaac. So, yeah. The kid prodigy. But yeah, big shout out. He earned the anchor keyword. What a guy. Absolutely trucked along. But So Swiss was a lot of fun. It was a Grand and yeah, time. The, the day ended with plenty of time, so we got to do a little wrap up at the end of the day. We got to you know upload some stuff. It was a, a really good of, way um, to lead into Sunday because right. then that meant Saturday night we had time for my personal favorite moment of the entire <laughs> event. So to just give some backstory on this, I'm talking with some WizKids people. I'm like, yeah, if you guys have you know some more legacy cards we can give away, we'd love to do the hotel thing again. And they're just like, yes, that was so much fun. It's like, yeah, so cool, we'll get some more. And I was expecting maybe 10, 15 more legacy cards. Emily walks over with a stack of like 65. 60, yeah. And uh, she's like, yeah, you just want to count them out quick? I'm like, sure. Yeah, absolutely. And counting those out felt like you were just, like, going through hash. Oh, dude. dude. It, it was, was so uh, much fun being, like... It was like, absurd. Get yourself so, something nice, and you just, like, hand, <laughs> hand somebody, like, five of them. We have a, a brick of those... And uh, so throughout, this was earlier in the day. So throughout the day, John keeps walking over and he keeps hearing us go, okay, so what if there's multiple rounds? Yeah. What if there's clues we give them? What if they have to piece together a puzzle, a code phrase, yeah. a password, something like that? Grand prize. Let's get a grand prize. Which Emily then helped us out with. She hooked us up with a Hawkeye Hawkeye, Bat Mermaid, Cap on a Pegasus, and not Space Ghost. Wonder Woman Generations. Wonder Woman Generations. Yep. Thank you. And she's like, yeah, this will be a really fun like grand prize to give away. So then we concocted this plan where there'd be rounds. So we're posting different things on Facebook. We're out in the hotel. First one was come take a selfie with us. So people are coming up grabbing pictures. Simeon, do you want to talk about what happened there? <laughs> there was a uh, lovely lady from Ireland, I'm assuming. I think so. Is either an Irish or Scottish accent um, who came up and stopped me. And at first, I assumed she was like, because she was like, "Oh, I'm sorry to bother you," but and I was like, "Oh, she like she grabbed me." Unzip so that in I the can, pocket. <laughs> well, I was thinking she wanted me to take a picture of like her in front of something. Oh. Mm. I was like, "Oh yeah, like let me get my phone out." Or, yeah. but she's like, "Should I know you? Are you famous?" And uh, I was just like, "Yes, you should." I was like, "Ah, uh, no, I'm not. Like, why?" And she was like, "Well, I just see all these people coming up and asking for a <laughs> selfie with you," and I was like, "Oh." So me and Ian have to explain like this whole like No, uh, we're nerds. No, yeah. you like, have you heard of a little movie called Avengers Endgame? Uh, how about uh How about Titanic or Avatar? You Wanda Simeon? Yeah. Yeah, a little Wanda. Have you seen any Wanda Simeon? Have you heard uh, of uh a little Bat Rock? A little yeah, a little yeah. Sm- my stolen smaller brick role of Avengers yeah. sixty? Or Avengers Forever? The case yeah, of, Avengers yeah, Forever. The case of Avengers Forever being stolen. Uh, I'm sure she saw that one. Oh, sure. Extreme Rules. You must recognize me from Extreme oh, Rules. Yeah. My, my, I get why you wouldn't recognize my me. Earlier first, work, yeah, my earlier work, I get it. My hair no, is I did shorter now. Hair, yeah. But yes, yeah, so I, I am <laughs> Billion Clicks Bruce. It's true. Oh. No, uh, so I did end up showing her one of the goons that somebody brought so that she could <laughs> get like a scale of like, oh, okay, that's what you were talking about kind of thing. But that was funny. Uh, it she was hilarious. Was very intrigued by the potential celebrity in her midst. Yes, yes, she was. Yeah, and it's like, no, we're we're just. Could you imagine play, like walking up to just like a bunch of an orcs. actual celebrity <laughs> being like, "Should I know you from something?" Oh, Are you giving away much? legacy cards? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I for sure thought at one point that she would ask for a selfie, and then like I'd give her one, and she'd be like, "I don't." This. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but oh uh, man, it was no. it was so good. And so the first round, you know, people are a little slow to get going, but then when yeah. it picked up, it was it was nuts. Mm-hmm. So second clue goes up. We tell them Facebook ten forty five. You'll see the second post, which is go grab a goon. And then a few people are like, I really have to go back up to my hotel. It wasn't go grab a goon, by the way. It was give us any figure from Notorious. It was any goon. No, no, if no, you no, were no. accepting any figure, then that's no, no, on you. No, 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 no. Unless figure, someone edited the post. I think it was any goon. That was what we originally had planned on, but... So people are flocking. Yeah, so people now, they're kind of like standing near us waiting for the next clue, and then they get that one and they they realize they have to run oh, up to the hotel. Any goon figure. Um, yeah, they have to run up to their hotel room, grab one, and come back. So yeah. there's a little bit of a delay, but it's like, well, you can't just like stand next to us and get like you know mm-hmm. instant access. That's right. Uh, what did they? 
What was the clue they got the for The clue they got for that, that was password, blue suede shoes. Mm, and then right. they were like, oh. And then we posted again around 11, 10 or so. And we said the last clue was come show uh, if you find Simeon, uh, your favorite Wolverine scup- sculpt. If you find Calder, your favorite Captain America sculpt. And if you find me, your favorite Batman sculpt. Did anyone show you guys your actual, like your yes. favorite sculpt? Oh, really? Two yeah. people yeah. showed me I the, did not the Arkham get Asylum I did not Batman. get it. I was livid. I did what get all the, banger sculpts for me. Did you get all banger sculpts? What Cape Crusader, Crusader there was definitely Trinity a few War. Hard oh, misses. I got some big misses. There was like a Wolverine, like a common Wolverine from... Like WXM. mutations and monsters or something. Really? No, I would have taken WXM. I, I saw someone show you that. Yeah, that one's that. fine with me. Like, that's a classic costume pose, everything. But there was, like, one that was just, like, that old school of just, like, where it looks like he's filled with tumors. Oh, geez. Kind of like, yeah. Oh, yeah. like Play-Doh. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I was just like, oh, no. The mutations like, and Dude. monsters one has that weird, like, bandana tied yeah. over his head, too. He's got scraggly the hair. No nose Wolverine? Yeah, that's probably, like, my least favorite one. Yeah, that yeah. It's like, it. boneless Wolverine. <laughs> Whereas oh, bones metalless, were metal. Metalless yeah. Wolverine. Dude, first sculpt someone showed me this falcon cap, and I'm like, no. <laughs> but fine, yes, he is called Captain America, but you know he ain't the goat. You know I mean? Yeah, Steve, come on. Bro. You're going to pull up uh, with that. Big shout out, Isaac Denke showing me Earth X Cap. He knows what's good. He knows what's Factual. Up. Yeah, factual. Hitting him with the real The real, the real G. Uh, McConnell Lamar had a standout one, the rare ABPI cap. No oh, one yeah. showed me Pegasus. Uh, also, shout out Kevin for just taking Isaac's phone and being like, here, see? And I'm like, wow. no, come on, wow, man. Kevin. Real G. But uh, no one showed me Hammer of Thor. It blew my mm-hmm. mind. I was like, dude, the goat. The, the first one I got shown was book. Arkham yeah, Asylum Batman. Book. Oh, really? Yeah, yours post. off. Rip. And I was like, props, bro. Like, <laughs> dude, the <laughs> next day, somebody showed me Sam Cat from AEW, and I was like, this is disrespectful. This <laughs> that was is, hilarious. This is disrespectful, bro. Shout out Jason for that one. Yeah. If they had done Secret uh, Empire Cap, that would have been funny, too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have taken that over Sam. Whoa, uh, whoa. The last clue they got, though, and some people did not act on this, surprisingly. The first people I told it literally actually, just walked away. I it said, confused enough. The they're pool. Like, yeah, they yeah. like, okay. The pool. They're like, okay, so you guys are posting another clue? No, it's the final one. The pool. Okay. And then he walked back into the bar. I, I, was like, I think a few people, just be people like, oh, thought that right. they had to go find a pool table or something. Because there was a few people that were just like, the pool, and then like looked around the lobby, and I was like, uh, can you give me like any, other? and I'm like, no, I'm not no. giving you any other clue, that's just. But then, on the reverse end of that, <laughs> yeah, we were hanging outside when this was all concluding, and the real clue was that the grand prize was at the pool. We sent the Lukes down, who most people were not familiar with at this point, yeah, to go hang out by the pool with the grand prize. And it's dark out. The pool's on, like, lower ground in the area, too, so you can't really see them either. They're, there's a barricade from, like, the courtyard to the pool. We see a couple people sprinting out, a few people trying to jump the barrier of the pool yeah. instead of grabbing their key, which is, like, come on. Like, you, you, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, come on. sad. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it all concluded with Lucas Lion Landis over at HeroClix headquarters, getting to Luke and Luke, giving him the passcode of blue suede shoes, and walking away with the big grand prize. We got a fun picture with him. And I feel like a few people made it yeah. to the pool, looked around, didn't see anyone, and then they, they were left. hanging out in, like, the shadows, like, yeah. the corner. Yeah. So, and Luke yeah. was wearing black, too, so that certainly didn't do any <laughs> favors. <right. laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was a great job. It was fun seeing everybody sprint around. Some people just wanted to participate enough to get legacy cards and so that was also fine yeah but um yeah i walked away with those four convention exclusives which and the best part of that is that he was like i'm going to be giving all of these away yeah so yeah. paying Super it forward cool. so shout out to lucas again uh that was uh once again the second time easily the most fun that that weekend yeah that's true and uh there were a lot of comments saying please bring this back next year WizKids is on board with that. They really enjoyed it too. So next year, expect some really elaborate stuff. And make sure you stay at Graceland. We're going Ninja Warrior level. We're going to have like spike pits. We're going to have spinning blades. (laughs) Um, Is that a Ninja Warrior? It's in ours. It's in ours. Oh, okay. It's in the contract. Uh, Yeah, if you thought... If you thought trying to jump a fence was a bad idea, you'll have Wait to... Wait for the warped wall. <laughs> yeah. Covered in spikes. 
Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't slide down it because you get hooked the to it. The warped wall covered in <laughs> spikes. It's a no. Wheels of Vengeance theme. Oh my gosh. We've already got we've got ideas for it for sure. And uh, I think we'll make it a little bit more... I don't know. It depends on how many people we get participating, but maybe we'll make we'll it a do little a, bit more uh, We'll challenging. have more lead time on it, so people will know about this ahead that of time. Too. We'll yeah. give them the night it's happening. Yeah. And we'll give them, you know, a few more just kind of hints of where to look out There's for. There's a few people that were going up and down different floors looking for us like, in the hotel proper. I got a few messages. Yeah. And I was <laughs> like... You? I, I was like, man, I... I didn't even think about that, but I didn't want to also like sit on like the fourth floor and just wait to see yeah. if someone happened by no. like hanging out in one of the random like vending machine yeah. like cantinas. The cantina. Oh, dude, it'd be so Hilarious. funny! Like NPCs, just like here you go, <laughs> legacy card. Not even here is your legacy card. Here is your <laughs> legacy card. What's wrong with him? There's no one even in front of him. Is he glitched? <laughs> Thank so you for the next, ice cream. Next year, it's, yeah, bring us a glizzy. Oh gosh, Thank Whatever you for the glizzy. glizzy. If you get us a glizzy blizzy next year. If you can figure out what that is and get us one next year, we'll 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 do something Should special chili, for you. Chili, blizzy, blizzy next year. Chili, chili, blizzy. Blizzy. We'll include eating that. Ugh. <laughs> Eventually, someone whoever collects the most gets to pick <coughs> who eats them. Oh gosh. <laughs> no idea. Somehow I feel like that will just land on me, and I'm gonna be like, I'm not doing this. <laughs> you have to. Ian. But if it was one of you guys, I would be saying you have to. You agreed, <laughs> you agreed to it in writing. You must. Uh, so that was, uh, seriously, Saturday guys, night. so fun. Yeah. And once again, like, Graceland is just the best venue, like, ever. It is just, it's just it's a magical place. It's such a nice place. hotel, too, Time kind of stops at night, you know? You just, everyone's there hanging out. Like, I'd say, like, half the convention is being there. It's just so much fun. Like, that's the most, like, social hours. Because everyone else is in, like, matches throughout the day. You know, you can snag them here and there. But then you go there at night. Maybe have a few Hang drinks, out, grab yeah. some dinner at the the hotel, and it's just so cool. You see everybody, you meet everybody, so if you do plan on going, make sure you jump on it when WizKids post about it. They have great rates, too. It's really not like also horrible. Also, the TCB package. Yeah, for um, 45 bucks. How literally I free it? money. I found out that that doesn't stand for, uh, what did I, I thought it was um, the tour Convention exclusive and Battle Royale TCB. Oh. What does it stand for? Taking care of business. That was the Taking name care of, of business. Yeah, that was the name of the band that toured with Elvis for like the last okay. however many years. Because I saw it. I didn't, didn't recognize that. that last year or the year before, but I saw it on like one of the planes and I was like, oh, so that's like an actual thing. That's not just like an mm. acronym they made. And then yeah, so I, I looked Ooh. it up and they told us it was the three cool boys package, and that <laughs> we were the only no. we were the only boys. No. Getting it. That's uh, what they told us, dude. That's so funny. <laughs> three cool boys. Here are your three cool boy packages. There's some sunglasses in there. We packed oh, your chicken nuggies away. Gosh. Your pizza rolls. Some really cool bracelets. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good gosh. Oh. I'm just going off what I was told. That's, that's true. so funny. So Saturday night was a great, great time. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. But now, wait, 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 wait. What happened oh. Saturday night before all the fun happened? What were we fervently doing on our laptops? Oh, our the worst part of the event. What everybody enjoyed, though, not not hard work without any. Uh, you oh, know, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. Absolutely. But this was easily the most grueling part. Yeah, it's not debatable. So for us. we it wanted was. to do these cool cars. I say I say we, but Luke and Ian figured out like months in advance, like we should do these cool cars. Well, what's crazy about that is like I would call Luke when I was at work, and we would just like kind of shoot back and forth on ideas. And he was like, "Yeah, I think it'd be cool if we like had like either the figures or the players pop up and do like a versus screen." I was like, "Yeah, what about like a card?" Like, we put the players on, and he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And, yeah. In like, five minutes, he whips up, like, a dummy for it, sends it my way. I'm like, dude, these are killer. Yeah, he had, like, a... I had no idea how killer template. they'd be. Yeah. But, uh... But yeah. they, look, they look great, so... Luke really fleshed out the idea. To do idea. this for Top 32, we had to get everybody's team into HC units, because that's what he used for, like, most of the graphics on the card. 
And then the next day we had to get everybody's picture taken. And then as soon as that was over, he was just putting them together. But all of us trying to True. first find all the build sheets for Top 32. Thank which, you to everyone who replied to my Facebook thread and sent an HC Also build. That. You saved us a good five to ten minutes each time you did that. Oh, yeah. For easily. Sure. So then, then not only do that, but then, yeah, get their sideline, get their main force, and get their Figure maps. out what the Top 32 actually was. Find, yep, yeah. That too. Find well. their builds in the mass post of just everyone's build. That was like a task in itself. And so also I think... Put your names on your build sheets. And type them. There was like... That was wild. Type them. Dude, please. yeah, if you're mad that we got your name wrong, it's because you wrote it like how you wrote it. Um, and if it was typed out, it would not have been wrong. I guarantee it. Um, but that's also, not an L, that's an R. Yeah, the <laughs> amount of people that didn't put their like first name or any name on their build sheet was wild. Though. There was like tw tw 12 build there sheets. There's a lot of them. There's yeah. more than that. On There's top a lot of, that, of builds. With like the strength of schedule thing, the double Jacob Bishop... A few oh, other double weird, Jacob Bishop. weird oh my things. Gosh. People are messaging us going, are you going to post the top 32? Hey, what's the top 32? And it's like, we don't know. Yeah, yeah we're going we're piecing crazy. It to, we're going Sherlock Holmes right yeah, now. Yeah, so the, the original we're going top Charlie 32 in the letter room. that we saw was, uh, <laughs> was wrong. missing Devin Owens. Yeah. And I can't remember who was included instead, but... Some, like, which is weird Phoenix because Sky Tyrant build. He was like... Like, Devin was like smack dab right in the middle. Yeah, so, so weird it was that weird that there. he was missing... And not, like, I thought for sure it would have just, like, shifted everything down. But, like, yeah. no, it was... No. <laughs> yeah. There was people, like, like Paris was still in, like, the top 32, but, like, Devin wasn't. And so then we finally got, the like, the corrected ones. Um, we started collecting everyone's builds. We started typing all of them in and trying to read, like, handwriting and stuff. Trying to guess what the shorthand that you used when, for a figure when was. When somebody had Thor Gwen on your team. And it just said or Gwen. On their team, yeah. It just said Gwen. Like, and the, the With set, like a scribble. The set was like BB-88. And I was yeah. like, what is any of this? So I just looked for Gwen's that, well, first I just went to HC units and typed in 55 points and looked at every figure that was 55 points. And I was like, none of these make sense to be on a, <laughs> on a top 32 build. No. But it ended up being, yeah, the uh, Thor Gwen. Or Gwen, goddess of thunder, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like wild. Um, and I went up to him in top 32, like, after his match, and I was like, what is the tech with this? And he's like, oh, there isn't any. And I was like, you just like the fit? And he was like, yeah, I just wanted to play it. And I was like... Respect. Yeah, I was like, I can't, I can't fault you for that. That's really cool. But, yeah, I was just like... Do you know how hard it was for me to figure this out? I remember you, like, no sense pulling up the picture, you're just like, what is this? Yeah. And I'm like... Oh uh, yeah, dude! What? It was... That was uh, yeah. Typing out. If you guys enjoyed those cards, which we know you did, uh, just know that that's only like thirty percent of the work. The other seventy percent was Luke grinding oh, yeah. to get these out. Well, like thirty-two images edited in like two hours. Three or four, or probably like yeah, three hours on Saturday. Another like three hours on Sunday. Coming up with all the keywords, you know, adding like you know George Massu's glasses flying off, Paris Gordon having like the, the energy the effects, energy yeah, dice, that's really cool. Yeah. Mike Eskew with the fireball burning his card. Yeah, he didn't have that, a sideline. Yeah, um, my goodness. Patrick Frazier's uh, Luke is a beast. Yeah, his, his like I don't know, like blur in the background, his like speed yeah. trail, or whatever yeah. that is. <laughs> yeah, those are very cool. And for everyone who asked, yes, they were pixelized on purpose. We yeah. were going for a retro theme. It's fun. If you look at our thumbnails, if you look at the live stream, there's a lot of aspects of that. Look at the quality of like everything else we did, everything else on that image. Yeah. Like how clear it is. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, they just put like blurry photos in. They could It's He's... supposed to be like Mortal Luke's Kombat in the nineties. Professional 90s. photographer. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a professional photographer. If all we had was blurry photos, um, they yeah. still would have looked better <laughs> if we wanted to them to like yeah. For anyone in the top thirty two as well, we have not sat down to really figure it out yet. But yes, there will be printable versions of these. We will figure out a way to get it to you guys, or either like print them out ourselves, send them to you. We don't know yet. We have the files for it. We yeah. have the technology. Yeah. And we will make it happen. I know quite a few people have been asking, you know, for a larger one that they can frame or you know, just a collection of them. Some people want the full set. So we'll be in contact with you guys if you sent us a message or if you want to send us a message to potentially get those. Maybe you weren't in the top 32. You still want them. Let us know. We will decide. We're going to make card packs. Five cards <laughs> each. You're going to have to buy a ton of these from us to collect yeah, them all. We'll Randomize them. Make a booster. <laughs> 
Uh, who would gonna... the Who would the chase be? Is it Isaac? Is it not Patrick? Because he's the winner. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, there's there's <laughs> a couple. I'm kidding. Do we do uh, it, Michael? I think it's a fear itself, and there's no chase. There's just a few super rares. Who's the super rare then? Paris Gorge gets super rare, beating Isaac out of nowhere. That's fair. That's pretty cool. Uh, Caleb Reddick and uh, George Mass. Yeah, Massey. that's a, that's the fold out ultra chase. The fold out ultra chase card. <laughs> Those were so tight. I like the idea of the what was it the, the actual Jacob Bishop we got Spencer White's a prime Spencer White's definitely Spencer White. a prime that's not the actual shirt he was wearing that I, day Luke just made I love this that he didn't want his face on the card because he had lied to his work yeah. about where God. he was at he's got, he's got deniability oh yeah. well if okay if Blank's work is listening to this right now <laughs> they play it back to him like. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you explain this? <laughs> and yeah. we're just like laughing. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a serious. You're fired. As, oh as my gosh. How funny would that be? Yeah. Sorry, Jake. Oh <laughs> my god. No. Uh, yeah, he's got plausible deniability. That could he be definitely anyone. Does. That could be anybody. Yeah. That could be the other Jacob Bishop. That could Bishop. be the other Jacob Bishop. Yeah. There was two there. And we just... There could be four in existence. <laughs> we're really screwing the pooch on this one. Uh, sorry. He's not going to get no, fired no, for gonna, this. It's just funny that it's like, yeah. Yeah. We, I mean, we. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways. But there's all sorts of like good things. Like they were so funny. They're the ruler, 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 ruler. Yeah. Oh, oh, the keyword selection was great. Yeah. Uh, there were quite a few multi APOC builds and uh, yeah, the, a lot of them got various rulers times a thousand um isaac of course got the robot keyword because yeah, people question yeah, that what were some of the other really good ones oh we gave ryan redmond decepticon because yeah. he had the tattoo yeah. in the shirt that was fun uh jackson big being shout a Green Lantern out fan. logan carroll getting the tentpole one-man army florida man keyword for being the uh the only whatever it's so awesome Oh yeah, here's another picture. Jackson, Jackson just bought five bricks of Flash for sixty dollars during Top Cut from the Troll and Toad booth, yeah, which was hilarious. And then that got turned into a meme where it's like, now that Wonder Woman eighty Flash is rotated, can I buy one? We have Flash at home, and it's just that picture yeah. of Jackson. <laughs> this is the Flash, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, Saturday, yeah, Same, we, well, we BRs blew up still. Podcast keyword. The whole weekend, BRs oh, were just bang, no bang, 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 bang. It's possible. It's definitely possible. I just realized that we gave it to Scott Cramps in the podcaster <laughs> keyword. And I'm like, maybe we didn't give it to Devin Owens. I feel bad now. We gave him JSA clicks, didn't JSA we? JSA clicks. Oh, that's okay. right. Yeah. It's like the podcaster keyword. But it's Canadian. Like, I mean, it's, it's more specific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then Sunday, we just uh, cranked out the top 32. Got some. He did get podcaster keyword. Got some keyword. good McDonald's in us. Oh gosh, yeah. McDonald's breakfast. I remember eating oh, one of those McDonald's and legitimately being dude. like, "Oh my!" I thought it was better than the Burger King breakfast. The Burger King oh. breakfast, I legitimately took one really? bite and was just like, I don't know "That is sandwich." Yeah, oh, that was Burger worse. King to me is the highest, one of the highest tier fast food breakfasts besides Taco John's, I guess. Oh, that Taco was Taco John's. Is that broken. sandwich was literally worse than the normal gas station breakfast wow. that I found. Wild takes, it, Simeon. I mean, it's just factual. That I mean, for you, I guess, trash. but like, no, the Burger King or sandwiches oh. are high quality. Those are good. Sandwiches. I think I might have just eaten it too quickly, but I remember, like, I sat down for a second. I was like. <sighs> a little breath in it there. Was, yeah. There was a lot of uh, emotions even, running high. And in there, so it's kind of like, yeah. oh, what am I doing? Ooh, the chill out and eat. Egg, sausage, and emotion. Egg, sausage, and emotion. Covered in dude. cheese. Isn't that cheese. The, your second debut album? Honestly, egg, sausage, dude, and emotion. Speaking of cheese, or whatever you want to call the it's not released yet. that we had on our nachos, yeah. that was probably the worst thing we ate that weekend, was the, was the nachos. It was not were, great. The flavor was non existent. Not it there. Was just it was just the color yellow, it's and not there. it was a texture. I yeah. was so hungry, I was like, I don't even care. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just glad I had a bunch of jalapenos so I could pretend to like that that's what the flavor spice. is. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's much else on Saturday. Yeah, man. Well, no, we're done Sunday. We're, I've got to yeah, get yeah. well into Sunday now. But yeah, just congratulations to Zane Gate or Zane Gates from Nerd, I guess we're getting second. And then congrats, Patrick Frazier, on getting first. It was a name that you saw a lot in a lot of events, placing highly. Obviously, your 2019 national champion. And it was just 
you know what? As much as we love an upset victory and rooting for like the underdog or whatever, it's see, a well deserved win. It's a well deserved yeah. win. He put in years and years of hard work and consistent play. So just congratulations to Patrick there. It's pretty awesome. And to do it with Prime Spider Man, the one that every podcast denied saying, I think the Prime, <laughs> seriously, I think the Prime Spider Mans will knock each other out. Someone will find the tech to beat him. And Pat, I mean, I gotta talk about this. This is insane. In the finals match, picks phasing stealth with Sicarian. Has to move through a rune to get to his back line. The back two rows are not ruined. He moves through, drops off Spider-Man, who's double tokened, does a flurry on them with the Null Sword, and just, like, completely blows up Zane the, from the It was the a free action, like a, what is it, costed action as, like, a free action. Yeah, subconscious Picking fighting, phasing yeah. on Sicarian, I can't imagine a world where I'm not taking hypersonic or charge flurry, so no. to go that, like, in depth was like, wow. And then the follow-up play by him, Zane outwits his move ability, Zane outwits his super strength on the Spider-Man. Yeah. Patrick goes, okay, I'm going to pick Pulse, pulse wave. wave on Sicarian, yeah. and then... Ends durations. So now Spider-Man's back in business. And I had seen him do that in multiple games, and I was just like... Which was targeting himself. I, yeah, yeah, I knew I knew that was like a thing that you could do. It was just every time he was targeted... Because that was at what everyone was doing against Prime Spidey. was like, I'm going to outwit his speed power. That's the most dangerous thing. And he was just like, all right, I'm going to end this duration. That's, you know... Yeah. And the amount of people that just didn't see that coming... Because if you had I mean, seen that coming, you would have outwitted... Used like the outlet out that used for yeah yeah that was at that point Sakari and Iron Man's click six he doesn't have the outwit anymore you can't take it away Pat would have had to really seriously reposition to get an outwit in there if he could do any of the MOE have outwit I don't think so oh Doom Doom Supreme could have yeah, but Doom you also have to position around that, a rune marker which you wouldn't have been able to do and so that play like just I mean it blew me away it really just solidified these guys play a different game than me. Right. And seriously, props for that. Just back to back, like, big brain level plays. There were there. some cool plays in that final game. And Zane, I mean, man, like, Pat opens with a crit hit. Zane has some cold dice to open. Needs, like, a six. Misses four times. He was missing misses a lot. Misses the retail. It was tough. And so I will use this moment to say that, guys, it'll probably be out by the time you hear this episode. But please, please, please check out the master cut of the finals that will be on our YouTube. I've spent a disgusting amount of time making this look good, making it followable. And I think it'll truly be hero clicks like you've never seen before. If you enjoy it, if you're not subscribed already, please do. Leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you think. Um, This is easily the biggest project I've ever taken on. And I have been up so late every night since we've been home. (laughs) Just trying to get this out on time so you guys can see uh, Worlds in full effect. And once again, shout out to Luke for capturing some crazy good shots. It was just such a cool finals match. It was so fun to have our full team circling the table, doing what we do best, and just making it special, making it feel like the event it is. So, Yeah. yeah, congrats, Pat. Congrats, Zane. To everyone else who made it, Top 32, congratulations as well. It was awesome. Uh is that's pretty much the weekend right well yeah, sunday night we had a good time we played some shuffleboard yeah <laughs> sunday night i will say most of the hero clicks players were gone there's the lobby was way more dead than yeah. i wish it, i wish it would have been a little last bit last year more. it was a lot more lively yeah it and uh, it was yeah it was cool because it was like all the stress of the weekend was gone and it was just hangout time but uh yeah it, we still got to hang out with some people that was really fun yeah. and then the film of the toxic clicks video yes I mean, about the brimstone legacy and oh, the play yeah. at home kit that was a ton of fun which so. i accidentally made it in uh i guess yeah i got a few messages of me tiptoeing ian's gooning off to yeah. the side yeah. <laughs> gooning. I, didn't, I didn't mean to <laughs> It was really funny. So when that got posted, I had like three messages, and they were all screenshots of me. It's you know so the usual funny. suspects. Yeah, Tristan, exactly. Ethan. Who you think uh, it is? The meme squad. Yeah, the me. They are. Yeah, they're they're after me now. They are. They really are. I can't wait till that's on a t-shirt. <laughs> Just low quality, yeah, zoomed dude. in. Yeah. But Sunday night, uh, I got to talk about the IPF a little bit. And I can't say anything. Cool. But I and got no. to talk about the IPF a little bit. So I just want to say again, 2024. We brought that up with a couple people. Should be fun. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people that... Got to talk with a lot of players. We're excited about it and stuff. And uh, how we're going to expand it. So the goal, I'm going to say it here because it's the beginning of the year. I want to make it happen. 
got to actualize things. Five people international to Worlds next year. That is the goal for the IPF. Depending on who I think uh, we can do it, guys. Stuff. Ian's been going full accountability on this podcast. You will see the finals game by the time you listen to this. <laughs> well, there I will I don't be know. five I don't people. Know. Oh, okay. I thought you but you go. probably will. I'm I thought you were go. going. Literally, when this podcast wraps up, I'm going to go back to working on that. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's <laughs> going to go to like, Popeyes first, and then he's going to go back to I have to like working three on strings it. of attack left to put in, and no. then I have to do the whole color coding, add some sounds, do the final screen. It's still a ton, but we're going to get it done tonight. I refuse to ha- not have it done. Now tonight. it's we're gonna get it done tonight. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have it done tonight. I just don't know when it'll be posted. Oh, oh okay. Because okay, it's okay, probably okay, gonna be okay, like okay. a 20 gigabyte video. It's gonna take forever. I like that. <laughs> it's gonna be so big. Very excited. I like this. Ooh. So yeah. This is so fun. Huh? Yeah, IPF. It's gonna be good. All right, let's uh, let's jump into our listener questions. A lot of these are worlds related, so this will be a good way to like end off the show and cap everything off. So Luke 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 simply asks, "What's the password, gentlemen?" It's blue, blue, blue suede blue, shoes. Blue suede shoes. That is correct. The D-Man asks, would you consider doing another IPF online tournament before the end of 2023? Uh, the last is, one was yeah. a lot of fun. It doesn't hurt to get a jump on fundraising for next year. Yep. We talked about it earlier, yep. but Brad is in about a next month. Uh, his Discord channel is the Bradcast channel? Yes. It's the Bradcast channel. Yeah. Yep. Um, but also he's Brad on Facebook and Bradcast on Facebook. Yes. If you're in any Facebook groups, you've probably seen him and we'll be sharing some of his uh, tournament update stuff. It is, uh, if you definitely join the server if you're not, not already in it. There are 626 people in it, so it's always going off. Dang. Yep. The Bradcast Show colon space hero clicks. That is the name of the Discord server. Hit up Brad if you can't find it. Message him. He'll get you an invite. But that's where, if you ever want to play online, there's always people looking for games. Yeah. So if you want to practice some stuff, maybe play some fun stuff. But if you want to support the IPF in 2023, Brad will be running an event. Make sure you jump in that. I know we'll all try to be there, depending on timing. If it works out, for absolutely sure. I'll play. Bill asks, now that Worlds 2023 is in the books... Is there any format or tournament structure changes you would like to see? Personally, he said he'd like to see Destro be banned in Pulp, and for Theme to no longer be Highlander. And if US Nats is going to have qualifiers for Top 16 to be double elimination. So really quick, Bill, um, I don't want Theme to be no longer Highlander. Uh, 100%, Same. I don't want to see a four Carnage Silver Surfer team in Theme or whatever. Some I'm nasty cool stuff. with it if it's specifically for real name various. For That's his, fine. For his idea, yeah. But that doesn't yeah. really see play, honestly, that much anyway. But for no, something not. like Multiple Man or right. the Doctor Fates, yeah, absolutely. That'd have to be a case-by-case basis because there's just no way to catch the correct I stuff. saw a lot of people asking for theme to not be silver. That was a big yeah. thing I saw. I like it being silver, yeah, too, Yeah, it's fun. I, yeah, um, I'd it's, actually like for it to be more silver, like some honestly, sort of yeah. like 50% of your Man. build kind of thing. Um, As some someone sort of who built a ton of theme, you guys included... I thought it was really fun to build for theme because it's I just like it. it's just restrictive enough. You've got no restrictions on the equipment. Yep. You have to get the same keyword, and you can't use more than one. It makes building for silver less daunting, and you can still do a lot of cool tricks with it. It's fun to like locate a prime to build around, find a keyword to build around. Maybe you do both of those things, and then you structure it around. So it's more of like a inside out building perspective rather than I want these things what else do I need it's like okay I have to find my center point and branch out so I really enjoyed the thought process for theme surprising how much you can still get away with even though you're not playing like the most you know utility version of like xyz that you need it's like I'm playing this good figure and then oh this has that keyword it does essentially what I need oh legacy green lantern has that keyword too (laughs) that was always like somehow Uh, as far as banning deathstroke goes nah He's fine. I feel like Pulp's going to get a lot healthier after yes. rotation, and then with a, by the time we see a, a Pulp event happen, I think wheels will be out by then. Um, Notorious is already going to be out for Pulp. I think that's going to change gonna Pulp rock. up a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so I oh, think that's yeah. really healthy for Pulp. I think just Ra's al Ghul and uh, the Assassin stuff might... Poison Ivy? Might see play. Oh, yeah, Is she the one, the one the that the, destroys the... the stuff? No, that's super rare. Okay. This She's the one that drops the vines, dude. Yeah, those vines are vines murder, are beat, man. Yeah. The ones and that Black have Adam Batman being a rare, too. Black Adam, my goodness. Yeah. The Batman enemy vines that can copy attack values. So, I, I think Pulp's going to be in a healthier position after Worlds just by yeah. a set coming out. I wouldn't out. call for any bans until we see some tournament data. Yeah. But I, I honestly think, like, Deathstroke is manageable. Sure, he's nasty, but <laughs> yeah. he's no Mr. Sinister Moira. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy Moira's Last gone. thing there, top yeah. 16 to be double elimination. Um, I think a big thing there is, like, allotted time. 
Like you're essentially like Could doubling double the, the length of yeah. it. So Sunday would have to be a full day if they did that. I don't I don't like oppose the idea of it, but just based on kind of the structure of the weekend and kind of how Sunday has historically been, I think it's fine as is. You yeah. go into that top thirty two knowing it's do or die. This is Nats. They say in US Nats. Oh for Nats. Oh not, my apologies. Not, uh, not worlds. Uh, we could do if a whole episode on restructuring pods, nationals. Yeah, U.S. Nats um, is just in a weird position right now. It's but the, it, the thing is, that. is you know, you have to realize they're working with Gen Con, which yeah. how many people were there? Twenty five thousand. It yeah. was it insane. Was Another amazing reason to be at Graceland because yeah. we don't have to fight with uh, fight for like room or space or you know yeah. getting events fired having off. Having a Hero Hooks event, just be a Hero Hooks event, and not having to see other events be ran during it is huge, and not having to fight for the space with other randos is so That's nice. The thing. Yeah. There's so, something fun about going out and being like, yeah, there's some new stuff I gotta do, but just having a purely Hero Hooks event is so nice. So big, again, is. big shout out to Graceland and Worlds. And, so you nice. know, Nationals, it really is like, especially when you're in that venue, it is so tough to get the space you need to expand that event. So while I, I do agree with you that most people probably would like to see some sort of restructuring for nationals in some facet, um, I mean, that's just a, a really hard conversation to have from an outside perspective. So I don't, I don't have much to say there. Yeah. Alex asks, since we don't know the set list yet for Wheels of Vengeance, this is a wide open question, so use your imagination. If Wheels of Vengeance had God Packs, what would you like to see in your boosters? A solid gold blade. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to see a blade with ice skates. I was going to say, um, it's probably, well, Skating from the boosters we saw, it's, uphill, per yeah. se. <laughs> from the uh, One boosters we saw, it's not possible, but... Yeah, because it's multiple. looking like a lot of those double bases are We've chases. seen quite a few chases now. We saw the Namor yeah. at Nationals. We who's saw... A, who's a Twinkie? Was... Whoa, did Wolverine's we see the Wolverine, a Twinkie, yeah. he's a chase. That surfer's a Twinkie. Ghost and a surfer, chase. yeah. So it seems like if all the chases are like Twinkie bases, probably not gonna have a god pack of chases, anyways. Maybe one of like a cool chase and like a bunch of prime. Headless Horseman's not a chase, right? I don't Is think he so. a super he's rare? A super rare. He's a super yeah. rare. So but, I think we've uh, only seen three, maybe four of them. Oh, see, we saw uh, Sleep Slip Slipner? Sleepner? Sleep yeah. Yes, that horse. was a chase as well, I Legal believe. Horse. So that's four chases already that are double base. So yeah. a god pack, I mean, if you just want to jam in four of those guys. Oh my gosh. But then, Flip yeah, that just wouldn't fit their Free booster. Mm -hmm. uh, it could definitely be like a theme pack where it's like four ghost riders. You've That'd got cool. one on a bike and then like I would four, love to see three like, just yeah. standing there, four ghost just Ghost riders, a Midnight Suns yeah. theme pack would be kind of fun. I don't know if God Packs would work though. I really don't, I don't know. Based on the information we, the we have, pack, I don't think just there's... Dracula and four vampires. Five Drac Draculas. Pack. You have two slots. Oh, two in into yeah, the. It's... Yeah, that's a Dial H God Pack right yeah, there. Dude. It's Dracula. All Dracula. Two with vampires, and then the peanut or the Twinkie base is a vampire on a motorcycle. <laughs> which totally, which exists. I mean, what about a vampire on a hang glider? Let's get real. <laughs> <laughs> the old like plastic man hang glider. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Uh, yes. Luke asks, so having it in hand, I think we'd all say Hero Glow is pretty great. If you could reprint a currently released figure, Ooh. what figure would you give the glow effect to? Old Man Phoenix would look pretty great with the glow in the dark treatment. I uh, uh, I said earlier the uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, whatever, the Galactus Herald Ghost Rider. Mm. That one would look pretty sweet. That big like lightning ball on the front and okay. then flames on the okay, back. Okay, yeah. I'm with you, I'm with you. Any of the War of Light entities. Any of the War of Light entities, okay. for sure. I'm Ooh. giving it to uh, Ultra Chase, Captain Marvel. Oh, yeah. I think that'd be baller. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Man, what about, uh, He's. I just see him sitting on our shelf. I know, here. we all just turn around. I, yeah, we're no one, no we're listener can see this, but we like, oh man, any we, of the uh, lanterns. We have that, that, that cool. Weapon X in the tank. Oh yeah, that could be kind of fun if there was yeah. like tank somehow. It would look like it's, it's bubbles. Like if there a, was maybe like splatter I want on it. The that Weapon lit up. X lava lamp. A lava please, lamp. Yeah. Please yeah. give me the Weapon X. Maybe lava that lamp. Mr. Sinister from Chaos War also okay. with a tank on his skull. Cooking somebody in there, bro. Yeah, cloning. Uh, cloning. I mean, uh, I any Dark any of the Phoenix, constructs. Dark Phoenix, Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah any Phoenix, say. really. Any Phoenix, any constructs. Uh, pretty much anything with a non-plane, like, yeah. flight 
effect if it's got like some sort of cool oh. effect at all. Ghost Goblin or oh my gosh. Ghost Goblin is so fitting for like the theme of Wheels of Vengeance as well. <laughs> and then also the Dark Phoenix chase from Avenger 60th. My that would look crazy. Absolutely. Any lantern yeah. as well. Yeah, anything with uh, clear plastic. Probably yeah. pretty cool. <laughs> Mr. Halverson goes on to ask, what piece, if any, do you think will replace Sackman as the Swiss army knife of teams? Memoe. Uh, Memoe, Memo yeah, yeah, really. For the same point value and the same kind of, like, I have what I need in certain situations. It really it's, are. Yeah. It's rough mm. because that's not only eating into your sideline, but it's also very expensive compared to Sicaria. Uh, Maybe in, in the facet of, like, replace... Maybe not so much, but something that will take his place in terms of popularity. Double Scott Porter. How about that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's a ton of utility. That's yeah. a free ring. That's another ring that you can assign for 10. Any of them, you get the free drop. Yeah, 60 points of Scott Porter, where it's 10 is equipment, and then uh, 50 is the TKs figures themselves. And pulse weight. That is a... It's not the same kind of utility, but it is a massive amount of utility for yeah, 50 points. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't know if there is necessarily a figure that replaces Sackman. He truly is goaded. There's nobody... I mean, there's a reason he saw as much play as he did. He, yeah. he does something nobody else can, which is uh, everything. Yeah. So I mean, there's no figure that currently can pick two powers that I can think of. No. Modern. So I, Tristan, honestly, I don't know if there is a Sackman replacement, but I do think that there are heavy utility pieces that will shine. I think Space Ghost is another one. Oh, that, yeah. He's got a lot of pick a power stuff. He's got he, a lot of just powers in general. He has like 15 top dial, or the option of. At like 30 points or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. there's another one. There's definitely figures. Uh, we'll have to see what comes out. I mean,. Anything with the Herald keyword going forward, getting access to things like Conchu, that's going to be um, very, sure. very prominent. So we'll have to see. Chance asks, with rotation happening, what key figures leaving Pulp have comparable replacements now and why? Ugh, asking a question the worst way in school, which is, and why? I hate that. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> explain your, gonna explain give you your math. Why. And why? We'll, we'll, give, we'll give you the why. I hate okay. it, dude. Ugh. Let's cover some ones that are not replaceable. Moira, yep. no chance. Watcher, no chance. Yeah. Party Thor, probably. Blue Marvel can take I mean, his Party spot. Thor has it, Party yeah. Thor, Nathaniel Blue Richards. Marvel and Death Teen Stroke Lantern, as of right now, I don't think there is a common, uncommon, or rare Green Lantern. No. With Green Lantern team ability. No. no. Especially, if there is, not in that point range. Um, there is going to be... Oh, wait. Nope, that won't be Pulp. Uh... Gosh. Um, Nathaniel for, Richards is going to be gone. Yeah. he. I don't know how much play he, he saw actually saw. play, but, actually, at Worlds, though. That was pretty impressive. Yeah, he, he handed out a standard attack or power, attack power to... Good uh, Valeria TK, too. Valeria plus you know, two Franklin complex, Richards, too. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah Franklin, triple, yeah. Super cheap TKs. I don't know if any of those guys are really replaceable. I think... No. What's what's we great no is that GTK a majority right of what you're seeing at top tables, Sans, you know, like Deathstroke, like Bill brought up early, Blue Marvel. I think a lot. Oh, Red Widow is another standout. Uh, I think you're going to see a really, really fresh pulp meta, especially with Notorious being as powerful as it is in the CUR department. And I mean, they're just fun figures too. When I'm building for pulp, I tend to gravitate more towards like, well, I'm never going to play this figure like in competitive, so let's right. find a way to make him work in pulp. Something that was almost good enough to be competitive. But, you know, that's why that rare Hulk from Avengers 60th, I'm like, he's not quite good enough to be in modern. No. Like, just, you know, yeah, standalone. Like, there's just stuff that does way more for way less. Uh, but in Pulp, it ta it's really hard to take, like, 7 damage with a 14 attack and just ignore that or get hit by that. We'll also have to see uh, how Wheels of Vengeance opens this up as well. Um, I'm really curious with that see. pilot ability. There was that rare Electra on the bike potential. in the case. Oh, so, right. I mean, there's definitely rare double bases. Was there's she the named Moon Knight. Electra? Was she named Daredevil? I think she was named Electra, right? I actually don't. She's okay. kind of dressed like Daredevil. So, yeah, I mean, she's wearing her new Daredevil costumes. I didn't know. So the one in SMBA is Daredevil. And those pilot abilities could be particularly nasty depending on what they pair with. So, I could see those yes. shaking things yes. up as well. In terms of replaceability, though, I don't think it's the question of replaceability. I think it's more so what's new. What's new? Yeah, actually, I agree. 
Because we don't want to just be replaced. We want to see some new stuff, some new teams, will. some new flavor. Oh, yeah, absolutely will. Notorious is, is such a boon for Pulp. It's awesome. Is own Bill asks, what improvements of this year's coverage are you most proud of? And what are the things you think you can do even better next year? Oh, Ian, do you want to start with this yeah, one? Yeah, I, think you I uh, have the idea more. Definitely. So, you know, last year, like I said earlier in the episode, we had a lot of snags. Um, it was tough. A monitor wasn't working. That was fun. Had to go get a new one. Didn't have great internet connection. Took forever to upload videos. Uh, we didn't have a very good idea of what we were doing gameplay-wise. I mean, a lot of it was just a shot in the dark. We had less involvement with WizKids at that point, just in terms of, like, what we expected, what they expected. It was really just a chance. And to be invited back was very cool. This year, going into it, we listened to uh, what I would describe as a vocal minority in saying that we want more gameplay, which is understandable, but... I believe that we did too much gameplay or not enough meaningful gameplay, however you want to cut it there. Yeah. We did a lot of Team Worlds filming, and while it's fun to see what people built, see what people pulled, I don't necessarily think that the gameplay for Team Worlds is as dynamic or as impactful as like a high-stakes modern game or a high-stakes pulp game at that. And so the day that we were doing all the Team Worlds filming, I was just in kind of a funk thinking like, you know, I think we could have... We could have done better today. We could have focused yeah. on other things. We were really dedicated to the cameras that day. And so easily, like, the biggest thing that we can improve on next year is just um, devoting more focus to the players, the experience, and just the energy rather than here's a table, here's players playing. Yeah. We, you know they're doing that. You're going to hear about that. You don't necessarily need to watch 50 minutes to experience it. So just shifting gears on the experience factor of it, I'd say that's where we can improve the most. I think where we did improve the most this year was really just creating the atmosphere we wanted. You know, last year we sought to record it. This year we created it. And I think yeah. that is uh, just massive. I mean, we've heard people say it. I felt it. Having just uh, the banner for Tile H out, it's amazing how that just solidified the legitimacy of what we were doing was uh, just being on the move, really going out of our way to interact with people, not being shy in any regard. And just, uh, you know, on the other end of that, having players know that this is what we're here for rather than people asking us like why are you guys here how are you guys yeah. here we walk in they're like they're here yeah so it's a two-way street there so i think uh yeah biggest improvement easily is just um creating that atmosphere yeah people being like hey we're glad you're back seeing you're back in the full swing of things you're right we did this hard focus um big shift really from first year was like all we can really do is get player interviews all we yeah. can do is talk with people the the internet's not great we can't record that much our live streams are really rocky but this year it's like we had to connect to internet i think our biggest improvement was being able to do our live streams throughout the day that was something we oh, really course, wanted last well. year and we weren't able to do that at all yeah. last year so and like, shout out to whiz kids again for the like, prize yeah there. that made it a billion times better so like that was huge i think uh, personally, uh, as, as sexy as that garage door is, I think if we move the live stream setup to look a little bit more like we're actually in worlds and not in like, even if we were just like garage. facing backwards, yeah, just facing backwards. But like, I was still just so happy we were able to do that. So like, that was a huge improvement from last year. Um, I am happy with like getting gameplay streamed out to you guys. I think that's really important for Hero events. You want um, some gameplay. You want some gameplay, but, but I it has agree. to be meaningful. We gameplay. we went from like not talking to players at all and like not getting it's so like your first year was like we talked to players a ton way too much got like no gameplay this year was like we barely talked to anybody got a ton of gameplay and i think there's a sweet middle ground where we get the the vibe and the ideas of certain players and we did really good on the last day of talking with players and people being updated for top 32 matches and going forward where we got their mindsets going into the next matches about their teams and things. But I feel like we could have gotten a lot more player interviews for just overall how the event went and for yeah. teams. I especially love seeing, like, talking to teams at a time. That the was first a lot of few fun. days, we didn't really record Not much really. in terms of talking with people. And that's, you know, part of just, like, setting your new footing. Yep. You know? So there's a... There's already, like, I already have a notepad with, like, ten things written down on how to improve next year and some fun stuff we can do. Same. So don't worry, guys. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's, like, day zero, zero, zero. I don't even yeah, know what yeah, you want yeah. to call yeah, it. Yeah, day eight, negative 360. <laughs> we're already discussing uh, what next year looks like, and somehow, some way, it'll be better than what we brought. Yeah, so. that's drone army. Drone army? That's Dude, if we can say. legit bring a drone in. Oh I have gosh. a drone. Yeah. I don't know why we wouldn't be able to. I mean, we'd have to clear it with, like, Graceland, but I we're not... I want the golf cart, man. We're not the... Yeah. <laughs> the, 
the golf cart to run. These us three around. rooms, man, it's a lot of walking. We get Driving that golf it cart. through that thin hallway <laughs> in between, dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's definitely some side things that I really want to make next year that are top secret. Top secret. Top secret. But I think this year I'm going to start literally working on it because anytime I've ever done anything, it takes about three drafts for it to do something that I think is so I'm, I'm happy with. So yeah. we're going to make some cool stuff happen this next year. I'm really excited for you guys to check it out. Chance asks, and I hate you, Chance, for this. What was the point of view like behind the scenes? Because I said in the general chat, I was like, come on, guys, ask us a question about like what our point of view was <laughs> behind the scenes. And he just asked, what's your point of view behind I the was, scenes? I'll say it was okay. The point of view was like good. It was pretty good. Yeah, it was I liked pretty it. all right. For yeah. me, it was 2020, so I mean, better yeah. than a lot of people's point of view. Yeah, Paul, they're, Paul they're just making fun of disabled <laughs> people, people uh, with disabilities. Okay, over hold, here. okay, now. No, it's fine. No. No, it's fine. Cool, man. Yeah. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? <laughs> what, what are you... I'm siding with Simeon. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's got solidarity for the half-blind people. I'm just making a glass. My joke. whole family wears glasses, called. Okay. I was lucky enough to okay. be the one person. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Everyone in my family. I can't make it. No, the point of view is great chance. I think the biggest thing people uh, commented on was, did you guys play anything? Oh, and I, I kind nice. of like, I basically... Said hopefully slash lying to most people like yeah I might try to do a BR but it's yeah. like no I'm I said not. that a few times just knowing for like, sure that like I would not a trust few people offered anything. to buy me BRs I was like seriously I can't yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and I was like ah oh, maybe you know but like honestly like we've played at tons of Heroclix events in the past I would I prefer doing this now, I love playing Heroclix Heroclix literally obviously we it's all the love best playing game. Heroclix the best yeah. game ever made of course um, but. For this worlds, is uh, this is so fun. This is way more fun for it's us so guys. Cool. Yeah, it's way more fun. Sorry, and it's I hard. would love to open it's, up some notorious. Oh, so that was the one thing that, that was I had the, the biggest, biggest bummer, bummer, man. Dude. If that could oh happen, gosh, any time, any day now, I'd any love day. to crack open some notorious. I didn't even get a you know who my, you are. My local, uh, <laughs> I know my local uh, dude. Yesterday, I like, driving home from work. I was like, oh, I'm gonna drive by Krypton. I should see if they're doing pre-release. And no, they're doing like no. something. Dang it. Yeah. Um. Matt Reed asks, have any other events asked you to do coverage? Uh, oh, Matt, I don't want to be in about this. Yeah. It's top secret. Not gonna, not but good anything. top secret. Good top secret. Good, good top, top secret. secret. Yeah. Follow the page. You'll see. If, if we do, you'll see it there. Um, and then I love this. Uh, so Miles Kane asks, first, thanks for everything you guys did this weekend. You guys really made this event feel bigger. Now for the question. What were your personal favorite moments of... I already said mine. It was the, the Legacy Card Hunt and uh, if I had to tack something else on to just, you know, really answer the question, uh, seeing Toxic Clicks again and, you know, being gifted yeah. that bottle was really nice. It was really fun. They're always so exciting. And the pose-offs, too. I oh, those are, oh, those are always so great. Especially when the people, like, don't know what they're about to get into. Like, yeah. doing that with uh, we'll Ryan to, and Christine Redmond. We'll have to switch it up next year because people are so now good. They're expecting A few it. people are yeah. asking us, hey, can you can you yeah. get me for a pose-off? And for a few people, maybe the guy asking the question, uh, <laughs> yes. I said absolutely. Because he was like, I want to get Calder in on yeah, it. For those of you who don't know, that was like a planned attack on Calder. Uh, with the devil died, he's like, I need Calder to jump on my back and be Moon Boy. I was like, okay, we can make that happen. Jeez. So I went and uh, found him, and then, yeah. It was, it was like, Calder, funny. come on, we gotta do a video. <laughs> that was a good one. So yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, it's interacting with you guys. That's that's Absolutely, the best memory. Yeah. Yeah. And the Legacy Card Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy Card Hunt was a ton of fun. Because um, it, forced, it forced people to be more interactive at the guest house which sometimes yeah. people just kind of like chill out on their own or <laughs> off the side and they didn't get that option if they wanted legacy cards uh my personal favorite though was absolutely seeing all the like hard work of the ipf all of the money that people donated actually come to fruition seeing edison there seeing andrea there um I know, like, when I saw, like, you know, the, the money transfer out of the bank account that I was like, all right, it happened, but it didn't actually feel like it happened yeah. until, like, I saw he the He even of sent us pictures of, like, his flight, and I was still like, okay. Yeah. Seeing him hit, like, you know, seeing him that first night at the hotel and just being like, whoa. Yep. This guy's from, like, around the world. <laughs> I mean, practically, it's yeah. insane. And so, yeah, that was, that was my personal favorite just because... That was such a long... I mean, it was almost a year in the making. Yeah. Um, not quite yeah. a full year, but it was Lots of long nights on it. the phone. <laughs> and 
lots of uh, figuring out that gambling, aka raffles, are in fact illegal, <laughs> yeah. and our entire plan just fell through the floor. That was fun. That was uh, that was a hard thing to find a workaround, but you know the community came through. That yeah. Was, uh, I wish we could fund it personally ourselves. I wish we were. We did some. You know, yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. But I mean, like, I wish I was independently wealthy enough that I I didn't have to go to the community. I've flown you out to my tournament yeah. around the world. My private billion dollar mansion. Yes. Yes. Um, you now fight to the death. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my, my, uh, for my personal this entertainment. Try out start now. Snap combat. the pool stick. Yeah. Second thing, I guess, hanging out with John. I didn't yeah. get, we didn't get to hang out oh, with yeah. Mitch. Mitch was like real fun at nationals. We didn't get to hang out with him like that at all. That was a bit of a bummer. But uh, hanging with John is yeah. That was yeah. That guy's the man. Hi, Hero Clicks is in good him, hands. Him oh, being yeah. like yeah, I'm basically like you guys for this other game. And I was just like, oh, what's this? And he started explaining Final it. Final Fantasy. Yeah, it was like, like that I, has a card game? I've never heard of this, but yeah. Then Hearing how he dude, broke his so Harry wild. Potter card game. Yeah, he that was, was so funny. Dude, I just joking when he say, what, like Ron Weasley's broken? Yeah, yeah kind of. He's the engine. <laughs> it was so yeah. funny hearing that. Oh my gosh. That Weasley meta. And it's, the funniest dude, part yeah. is the way the deck function. It just makes you like draw... <laughs> Like half your deck, he discards half your deck, makes you draw the rest of it, and then makes you discard that, so you just have nothing. Yeah, and so it's like funny. so it's like a mill deck too, which is like I mean it's just the dirtiest and funniest deck to play. So yeah, John, John's the man. That was just so hilarious. The idea of breaking a game that's and for it like... started off. He's like, yeah, I broke Harry Potter, and I was like, oh, how'd you do that? And it's like, well, yeah. and the entire walk back, and then into the hotel. He's like, so yeah, then they're playing spells. I'm like, yeah, screw that. <laughs> Hit you with the Ron. <laughs> oh, so Hit him with the Ron. Yeah, everyone thought characters were terrible. Uh -oh. Little did they know, they were the most broken game in the world. Harry Potter, the card game. I've never done that with like an actual collectible game, but I've done no. that with plenty of like indie games where like you find this one combo where you're just like, oh, this just wins every time. There's literally yeah. nothing in the game. Like uh, the first iteration of Epic Spell Battles of Wizard Mountain or whatever. Okay. There's a certain com like a certain combo of cards where if you get that in your hand, you will just do infinite damage okay. to like the other people at the table like too much for them to like ever recoup from and those I've, are also very fun decks I've pulled to play. it off like multiple times and it's just like all right so you're gonna take four you're gonna take three you're gonna take two i'm gonna activate that again you're gonna take four you're gonna take three you're gonna <laughs> take two i'm gonna activate that a third time and then like they're like all right and i'm like now i move on to the second part of my spell oh, and geez. it's just like oh no uh, the infinite fireball loop oh, essentially so uh, good uh, but Miles, my favorite moment throughout the weekend, it, it is hands down with you, Miles, as we lean into wow. no, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, he like walks up and says, like, I got something for you. And I'm like, Oh yeah. Sure, yeah. And he and he gives me Captain America 333, the first appearance as of John Walker as Captain America. And I'm like, You're kidding. Like you're not serious about this. And he's like, No, man, absolutely. A nine point it's eight. yeah, that too. It's graded. A nine point eight graded. My favorite, my all-time favorite run of Captain America is this Mark Grunewald run from the 80s. And, like, yeah, dude, sure enough, he gives me this, like, CGC 9.8 graded Captain America 333. And I'm like, this is unreal. Like, you can't be serious. And he's like, no, man, like, you're such a big fan. No, you know, like, it's crazy to meet someone else that's also, like, a fan of John as Cap and everything. And I'm just like, no, Miles, you're kidding. Like, you can't be. And, he, and sure enough, he's like, yeah, dude, I want you to have it. Like, I need to downsize my collection anyways. I've got too much. I'm like, it doesn't take up that much space, bro. It's a comic, you know, it's yeah. comic books. It's, it's, a slab um, <laughs> it's yeah. just a hero click. <laughs> Hands off. Oh yeah, shows. I guess so, yeah. No. But it's just like, dude, it, like that meant so much to me as like a Captain America fan to, to, to another Captain America fan. Like that's just so crazy cool. So like, that was just like huge miles. Like so, so crazy cool. Man. Yeah, I came back from the bathroom and Coulter was like freaking out. And then I saw it, I was like, I'm not even sure what that is, but that's if I, dude, sick. If I was a crier, I would probably would have cried. I probably would. I probably would have shed some tears. If I like did that, if I was like, <laughs> nah, man, I'm yeah, like crying, you know, in touch with my emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, I bottle everything. Though. Thank yeah. goodness. Thank goodness. I bottle everything. I'm gonna up. explode one it's day. Super <laughs> <out>. <laughs> no, this is good for me. This is good. Uh, but yes, yeah, so like that was huge. And then of course the blanket. Uh, Miles scene. also was just like, dude, Black Miles man. was so cool. Yeah, he dude. won a Venom God of Symbiotes in his first battle royale, and there was another guy who was like, man, I'm dying to get that. And Miles literally just went, here you go. That's why, like, dude, way and he's too like, nice. that's just the kind of guy I am. I was like, 
man, like such a nice guy. Seriously, such a nice. Dude. So Miles is another person who you know we've been harping on community here, guys. It's it really is just as far as like competitive like board gaming or card gaming goes. Hero Clicks has to be up there for one of the best communities. Oh, it has to. You have so many people out there that I I don't know. It just it leaves me shocked to just hand over a Venom God. <laughs> Yeah. That's incredible. To give a great comic. To, I yeah. mean, wow. Sorry, I, I interrupted you. No, me. it's no, it's absolutely incredible. I was dumb, man. I'm, I'm just like still, it blows my mind that someone would do that. I'm like, that's just way too cool. That's just way too friendly. So, it's well, dumb. Before we wrap up, I really do just want to press again, guys. Please go to the YouTube. Please watch this, uh, the master cut, I'm dubbing it that, of the finals match. Let me know what you think. I put in way too much time to see it flop, so don't let it. <laughs> but seriously, I, I wouldn't do it if I knew it didn't mean something. Or if I... That makes sense, right? Yeah, no, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some negatives there. Working out. Yeah. You got it, Mr. Negative. Got it, bro. got it. So yeah, I just... Uh, I want Hero Clicks to be seen on the level that I see it and that we see it. And this is just one of the ways that we can do that. Have you seen the first bit of it, Simeon? I have not. Okay. So at, just I'll watching show you. the first, like, ten minutes, I was like, wow, this is, like, I the mean, most engaged I've been in a Hero Clicks. Like, watching a Hero Clicks game. Gonna it's going to be a lot of like, fun. Even though, like, the teams are on, like, a higher level, I feel like this might be the go-to video to, like, show somebody for them to get what the game is. It as far as like competitive the play goes, to follow Hero Clicks game. It's, uh, the goal for me, and it is not easy to do this, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of overlays. I don't want a single comment asking, how did they do X? I want everything that happened, including all the Mephisto healing and clearing action tokens. He Let me says, tell you. As a broken man, oh, all the Mephisto healing. The Mephisto's like it's already, you know, kind of a pain to like, oh I'm gonna swap to this. It's like, okay, swap the cards on screen, but then okay, now I'm gonna heal this character with Mephisto. So it's like show Mephisto's ability, show Mephisto, show the figure that's healing, show them healing. For all that to happen in a span of like five seconds sometimes and to fit it on a screen to where it doesn't just look like horribly cluttered. Oh man, Mephisto, I can't wait for you to retire and not even because you're like OP. <laughs> it's for video. So, yeah, guys. For video editing reasons. Can we please, please. move Mephisto? Please uh, check out the video, guys. I'm begging you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please let me know. Uh, it's really appreciated. So... That's the last thing I want to say. I had so much fun this year. I can't wait till next year. And I uh, can't wait to do it with you guys again. It was, uh, we killed it. Yeah, I 100% <laughs> agree. I'm so proud of everything Dial has been able to do in the last couple of years. These years and years and years of hard work have really amounted to a ton of cool things that we've been able to do. So it's just incredible. And we get to share that with you, the community. And we wouldn't do it if we weren't passionate about it. We love this community. So it just makes it all the better. Yeah, and then once we get the uh, Dial H RV, we'll be on the road, yes. coming to a venue near you, doing Man. 24 7. I, I want to do a 50 coverage. states Dial H tour one year. It'd be so <laughs> tight. It would never that happen. Would, no, that it would be would. so cool. Be miserable, yes. I've thought about that. I was, you know, the idea I had in regards to that to extend the episode here was that, you know, you go state to state, you go to like the different states' events, or, you know, maybe just a weekly. A bit and one of their bigger venues. You something. make a massive documentary of like, this is what the Hero Clicks community is, cover the whole history of how the game started, and, and it talk with everybody, how it's different on the West Coast. That'd it's, be cool, you know, actually. It's different on the East Coast. I've had that. Now we have to do it. Anyway. That's probably my, my biggest idea ever that I know is, you know, more than likely not going to happen, but at some point, maybe, like, far down the line, we, we can bankroll it. Yeah. Or one of our listeners wins the lottery. We've had a listener pretty adamantly say that if he won the lottery, he would do a lot for Hero Clicks, which is really funny. I mean, I, you know, when GameStop was the thing, I was saying, yeah, GameStop pops off, you know, with my few shares, yeah, I'm going to do some crazy stuff for the community, but... Still waiting. Yeah. I would host the first ever million dollar tournament where the, the grand prize oh was gosh. just a million dollars. <laughs> Assuming I like win like the big lottery. Yeah. And like not like that's it's not like the I small have. lame lottery. Well like yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, but if I win a million dollars, I'm not blowing it on one tournament. So Understandable, wow. yeah, I guess. Not so, understandable. Yeah. I'm not a real one for that, but it's just the truth. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's uh that's basically it for this episode. That's the podcast. So, I think so. Notorious will be out soon. If you want to pick up some singles for it, or you want to pick up any of those sealed products, make sure to check out CoolStuffInc.com, where they have the latest 
singles and sealed products. Use code DIAL5 for 5% off when you do so. And if you want to buy Heroclix direct from the source, use shop.wizkids.com where you can use code DIALH10 to get 10% off of everything that's not pre-orders or Iconics or specialty figures like Scott Porter. And like always, happy trails. I'm the biggest Dracula fan. Or hasta la proxima. Okay. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional zero clicks now. Are you serious? Again? How many people even play this game? Like 100? That's how numbers work. Over okay, yeah, six people more. think I am one. I'm your Captain America. That was just you in a costume. Well, the rest of this case uh, doesn't matter at all. I'm from Canada. Yeah. Oh, you're metal. Are you kidding? Wow, wow, wow. What? Where, where did that come from? <laughs>